Hello! <laughs> Welcome to the stream, everybody. Let me start at the game. What's up? Nice to see you here. Don't worry, I'm not gonna keep these glasses on. Or should I say, don't get your hopes up. I'm not gonna keep these glasses on. Because believe it or not, as cool as they look, I can't actually see all that much. Unless I do this. But, bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, welcome to tonight's stream, everybody. Glad you could all come. Uh, we're getting cyberpunky tonight. By, what are you doing? By playing New Cab, which is a game I don't know all that much about yet. Uh, except that it's cyberpunky, like me. And... <laughs> new synth queen yeah maybe maybe um and it's a uh, dialogue and story heavy so we'll see how well we get on with it uh i can see it being both very good for stream and not so good and um, when we get in please do let me know as always if the game is too loud or i'm too loud so we can get that settled as quickly as possible um but I think we should be fine. This is not a super loud game, it seems. From what I know, we will be playing The Last Human Uber Driver in Neo something. Am I reading this? There comes a point in any long drive where your mind goes a little off the road. It's like the flashing lines on the highway hypnotize you in some weird way. Like, it's normal to talk to the clouds. Oh, I like these animations. Looks very hand-drawn, but it's clearly 3D model. Or come up with a name for the hundredth Joshua tree you pass in the endless desert. I was officially at that point, and so was Jojo. Only 40 miles to go. To Los Ojos, to my new life, to my oldest friend. It was like a gift when Savvy called me last week. My life was going nowhere fast, and she knew it. It used to be her life, too. Uh, was this a game from Reason Humble Bundle? Yes, indeed it was. And I was thinking what cybery things to play tonight, and since I don't own cyberpunk, and also, everybody and their grandmother has been playing that. Figured this might be nice. It used to be her life too. Losing job to Copros AI. Juggling a dozen gigs and still coming up short. Ah, the millennial life. Getting way too comfortable, just being sad. So when she offered to be roomies again, this time at her place in the big city, it didn't matter anymore what had come between us what we'd said when we were angry. All that mattered was the road ahead. That, and the battery charges that had sent me back 3D coin. Nothing like rolling into your new life completely broke. <laughs> no problem, this is cool, cool, cool. You're a driver, just drive. Holy shit. <laughs> right? Isn't the hair awesome? No, it's a wig. It's a wig. This is not my, my actual hair. But that's actual, actually great, because that means I get to ha have my cake and eat it too, you know? I can just switch between hair. <laughs> um, uh, my cheap internet can't handle Katya cyber awesomeness in HD. Apologies in advance. I seem to reply too slow or late. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I... You're, you're going to be like me then tonight. I sometimes take several minutes to reply, so that's that's completely okay. Just glad you're here. If I could pick up even one ride out here, I'd be in a better place. Maybe even get a fancy here's to us cocktail with Savvy, like old times. Savvy or Savvy? I started at Neocab. Driver rating. Ah, the Uber life. 
Bride is three, Robert Coombs, New and Mini Van, Griffin Goldman, Andy Sil Okay, right. pick up request. Copper Cash. So is Copper like the Mega Corp? Liam Bird. Faster than a shutter snap. Flaneur. <laughs> is that how you spell that? For a second, I thought maybe Liam had put his pin in the wrong place. This didn't feel like a convenient pickup spot for anyone. I could barely make him out at first. All I saw was desert and dusk. Then I spotted him, a lone figure dragging what looked like a huge luggage or a small something. He got into the car bags first, then squeezed him like he was their sidekick. Hey. Hi, pick up for Liam, heading to Los Ojos. Pretty hot out tonight, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna go. This is a pretty shady place. Hi, pick up for Liam. You are a Liam, right? Y yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I could feel his anxiety creeping up from the back seat. I can't help it. I absorb that stuff like a sponge. Yes, uh, thank God. Yes, okay. Sorry about that. Oh, man. Look at his glowy scarf. All good back there? I thought I spent all day out there in the desert taking photos of the stars in the in the Los Ojos sky or LO skyline. I thought it lost my memory card. The bastard's smaller than a grain of rice. Why do they keep making them smaller? Damn, my heart's racing. His accent was smooth and musical, but I couldn't quite place it. Definitely not Southern California. Uh, well, I don't know what a smooth accent is by American standards. <laughs> uh oh, he killed Liam, he's in the back. Oh, that's a shady, that's a shady first ride you're assuming we have here. But the picture was correct, wasn't it? Uh, anyway, hello. Lena, right? Said on the app. Yep, that's me. Awesome. Thanks for picking me up all the way out here in Nowheresville. Let's be, let's be American friendly. No problem. I was headed this way anyway. Plus, Neocap goes where Copper fears to tread. Where Copper fears to tread. Where are you coming from? Cactus Flats. Uh, I don't know that one. Going to the big city on holiday? More like a permanent vacation. This car is carrying my whole life right now. I'm moving. Moving? That's huge. How are you feeling? British? Ah, British? Do you guys... I don't think I've ever heard an American call a British accent smooth. I've heard them call it other things. I, I don't know. I think I'm... I think I'm... Well, she sounded excited. Excited? I've never been to Los Ojos before. Stop it. This is your first time in automation? <laughs> automation? Automation City? Is that crazy? No. I mean, yes. Moving somewhere you've never been, never even visited? But damn, it's also very cool. Don't sweat it. It's mine too. Though I'm just visiting. For work? Sort of. Uh, I'm a photographer. Or trying to be. Taking a year off my real job to see what I, what I can make happen. A year to travel the world and take pictures. Who was this guy? The dream. I mean, is that so unusual? I mean, I know Americans don't do gap years as much as Europeans do, but let's just say the dream. The dream. Also, I don't know what's, you know, how, how those things work in these times. Savi and I had talked about doing something like that after college, until I couldn't go. Instead, she met a guy, a sculptor, and lived that dream with him. They broke up after a screaming fight in Milan, and she came home with a half-finished clay figure of herself. She always loved playing the muse. So, what about you? Why hello? Oh, I'm moving in with my best friend. <laughs> I actually haven't seen her in ages. We used to be super close, and then... Then we kind of weren't. Why did 
did that just slip out? I always forget how easy it is to spill your secrets when you're only making eye contact with the road in front of you. Oh, for sure. I moved a lot. UK, France, Canada. Now here. Well, I guess it's not a southern accent then. I guess you're right. Maybe it is British. Sort of fading in. In and out of different friend groups. Maintaining most of my relationships online. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, why now? What made you make the leap? She asked. What she ever had to do was ask. Oh, she asked. I just realized that my life isn't as good without her in it. Without her in it. I love that. Sometimes it's just the only thing that makes sense, right? Well, exactly. It'll be a fresh start for us. I hope. I guess this photography thing is sort of my fresh start. So while you're getting the keys to your new place tonight, I'll probably be out snapping pictures of Capra Tower. Capra Tower? Gross. Uh. Oh, she pissed off by that, huh? Ah, uh, you know, professionalism. Heat flared into my face. Just hearing that name made me furious. Your emotional state affects which options you can choose. Um. Uh, this is a lot. It is a pretty unusual. You can say he's a photographer just by looking at his glasses. <laughs> Don't think it looked kind of like mine. Just noticed your title was "Do you even lift?" Yeah. See the pun. This is the Indian music. Yes. Nice, huh? Yeah, no, I, I'm sure I would, uh, I, I hoped I would like the music, I was pretty sure. Hence, hence my before music. <laughs> uh, looks like it's gonna be a lot of reading for me. So, okay, so apparently, um, and I, I, I saw this beforehand a little bit, this game has like an emotion system, which will affect which answers are av available to me. So that's, that's a, I can't pick that. Okay. Doing a cover shoot for Multinational Monster Magazine, huh? Hey, whoa, it's just a beautiful building. Yeah, you can afford beautiful buildings when you have that mama. Sure, I have heard it's very impressive. Ah, uh, she, she's bitter, but let's try to, we want a good rating, right? So let's try to be like, small talky. Alright, my hands tightened on the steering wheel. I had nothing good to say about Capra. Yeah, you can afford beautiful buildings when you have a monopoly over the entire tech sector. The spoils of selling out human dignity, right? He shifted in his seat and tried to smile, but it was tight, uncomfortable. Capra. That name carried so much baggage for me. My first driving gig, my only income stream. Before they replaced me and every other driver with auto cars. Soulless capsules of glass and plastic. But hey, those things don't need health insurance. I tensed up just seeing their logo, which was all over the place. Nearly every passing car was one of theirs. Crawling our streets, covered in sensors, collecting data on everything and everyone. Just hearing Liam say the name at my heart pounding in my ears. Right, you're not a fan. We don't need to get into it. I felt like all the energy in the car had flipped. He was closed off suddenly, cold. This is exactly why everyone says that talking politics with a PAX is the quickest way to tank your star rating. My 4.9 driver rating definitely didn't want me to push him. Again, let's keep it light. Of course, you're right. I didn't mean to be so snarky. What had gotten into me? My hackles were up and over what? A photographer who just wanted a picture of a famously impressive building? It was exactly what had happened with me and Sadie. I got all emotional over something that really wasn't a big deal and I pushed her away. You're so volatile, Lena. Like I'm looking for reasons to be sad or worried. Like all my bad feelings just leap out of me and poison my life when actually everything was just fine. 
He couldn't let that happen again with us. Guten Abend. Hey, Alex. Ugh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm biased. I think I'm just stressed. It is a pretty great building. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can say that without... Yeah, I mean, let's try. Uh, you, I mean, you're not praising the company, Lena. You're just saying it's a nice building. Shit can have a nice layer outside of it, I guess. No, well, that's a bad metaphor. Anyway, I think I'm just stressed. Moving is the worst. It's all good. I just, I just don't want to talk about it. I get there's a lot of baggage attached to the load. Trust me, I really do. But I'm not here to pick it up. This week, for once, I'm just a tourist. Well, sorry again anyway. Don't worry about it, seriously. Look, if I wanted a silent ride with a brainless driver, I'd have called a copper. You're much more fun. As the sun went down, I could just make out the first lights of LL appearing out of the desert. Suddenly, like a mirage. We were almost there. Reminds me of the discussions about Gazprom Tower in St. Petersburg. Uh, the city lights spilled across my windshield as we crossed the Los Ojos city limits. He pulled out his camera and I heard the shutter clicking away behind me. It's all in the colors that I am tonight. Ah! I thought about my apartment and my new life. Let's say we thought about Sadie. I thought about Sadie. No more nights alone. No more longing for change. I was here making the change and I was ready. Here I am, Sadie. It's real. I did it. I pulled up to Liam's destination, a modest hotel. Nice, but it had an art to it. it made sense. You know it's going to be great, right? You're doing something really big and I think it's going to pay off. Thanks. <laughs> and sorry again for being so testy before. I'm in a Capra town now and that's, you know, that's that. Oh, it's nothing. I've gotten into my share of arguments with cab drivers before. You have? Yeah, with much worse opinions. And listen, I know you've already got a friend in town but I'll be crisscrossing down in your cabs all week. Maybe we'll get paired up again? Hmm, I'd like that. He shouldered his luggage and headed into his hotel, waving at me as he disappeared through the doors. I waved back. I guess I made it. <laughs> Oops. Out of gas, huh? Perfect reading. A serendipitous ride with a spirited driver. Welcome to Willa. Your rating stayed perfect. Whoop, whoop. In Outer Lands. All right. New message from Savy. Just past Palm Springs in the home stretch. Wade's Wade's good, Lena. What's? Guess where I am. Nah, I'm excited. You better be. I'm in Los Alpos! Chit chat or. I barely brought anything. Moving is going to take two seconds. I cleaned up! A bit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wait, actually. Can pick me up? I'm sending you a pin. Uh, sure. Yes. Can't believe I get to see you so soon. My rare fave. My literal favorite human. Oh my. <laughs> I still think Liam is in the luggage. Oh, come on! <laughs> How long had it been since I'd seen Savi? Six months? No, a year? 
didn't seem possible. Some days it was easy to feel like she was still around because everywhere I went in Cactus Flats was soaked through with memories. Most days that just made me miss her even more. Nobody gets me like she does. Like, really gets me. Being around her made me feel more like myself. Or maybe just made me like it more. I saw her up ahead and my stomach flipped. Why is she why is she getting in the backseat? El Bunny! Saviest or Saviest! I guess her name is Savvy after all. I don't even know where to you sure you want to sit back there? Yeah. You sure you want to sit back there? Yep, I am trying to get that authentic private driver experience, you know. Honestly, I just feel safer back here. You're the only reason I would get into one of these things. Oh my god, did you actually get prettier somehow? Damn, girl. Come on. Whatever you've been up to is working. God, seeing you again is like... It's like home, you know? Me too. Sorry, can we just... Let's talk more Vroom. Being this close to Capra... Hey, Mesh, resubscribed. Thank you, Mesh. Oh, so hi, Mesh. <laughs> Mesh. Being this close to Copper HQ keep, creeps me out. Thanks for the sub, Mesh. Yeah, I thought it was weird you wanted to be here. Oh, I was downtown and it's a giant icer, you know. Seemed easy to for you to find. Well, now I know where to avoid. Gee, thanks, Capra. Exactly. Why so sad? So... Didn't have lights like this back in the flats, right? <laughs> the way we'd left things echoed in my head. The heat rushed into my cheeks. Was I turning red? My chest tightened and fluttered like I couldn't get enough air. I called her selfish and cried until I couldn't breathe before I begged her not to leave. Was that what she was thinking about too? I'm I'm sorry about how we left things. I, I just wanted to say ancient history. Whatever, I'm totally over it. So, okay, well what have you been up to? Tell me everything. Well, I kind of bounced around for a while. Remember that guy who said I could crash with him and his roommates? Definitely remember how I I a little restart. <laughs> Definitely remember how he always called me Lisa. Yeah, it turned out his roommates were more like his parents. They were super sweet and their place was nice as fuck and oh my god, so clean. But then his mom gave us matching sweaters for Christmas. I swear I felt myself shrivel like into a little ghost right then and there then and there over the eggnog. Yikes. Yeah, very. Compared to perfect family time, social activism is way more chill. Just some fogies too afraid of their own shadows to really affect change, but I can work with that. Speaking of, I can't believe we're back in your own steery. This thing knows all my secrets. <laughs> and you know I love Richard as much as the next girl, but... Would you mind parking it a little down the street from my place? People would get really weird if they thought I was pro-car. It's just a big issue in my work right now, you know? You empty car? I think you can ask a good friend that, right? Are you anti car? I mean, kinda. Nothing personal, but that's like shop talk for me. We don't have to get into it, right? Not get into a fight right away? Sounded good to me. Sure. But wait, uh, where are we going? What's your address? Shutter is an American anti-car, right? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, pull over. You live here? No, no, I just remembered. I, I got your present. Yep, I'll pull over. Yep, I'll pull over. 
I mean, I guess you don't really need a car in the city, right? But close your eyes and hold out your right hand. Um, are you gonna? No, I'm like you, psychopath. I will not put a bug in it. It wasn't a bug. It was a caterpillar. And it was fuzzy. Oh, I remember. Come on, give me your hand. I forgot how tiny her hands were and how they were always so cold. How are your fingers freezing in the middle of the desert? Must be the ice that runs through my veins. Jace is always whining about it. Who's Jace? She slipped something metallic into onto my arm. If you're not going to shut your eyes, then at least stop fidgeting. It tightened to a snug fit around my waist. Eh, wrist, not waist. Caterpillars are the worst, don't ever touch them. Yeah, yeah. They they look fuzzy and spiky at the same time. Whoa. What what is it? It's a field grid. It's a sixth gen biofeedback device for your feels. The color and intensity show your mood. Basically the way you feel in your body at the exact moment. Oh, is that her necklace as well? You're yellow, which means you're feeling positive. Probably because of my awesome gift. <laughs> I've got the necklace edition. See? Feel good green. Now we can both have, like, total awareness of our emotional well-being. You know, to take care of each other and all that junk. Aw, saviest. It's like the best friendship bracelet necklace ever. <laughs> exactly. So, it's reading my brain waves? Nah, it reads your blood. Sounds like a mood ring. Oh, it totally is, except it actually works. Everything we feel is because our brain has triggered some chemical to flood our system, right? So, this has a little sensor that reads all the molecules as they go surfing through your tubes. Ew. <laughs> um, let's not be negative. That's pretty cool. And she got it for us, right? Oh my god. So cool. See, it just moved towards green, which means you just got a little chilled out. There are four basic colors. Yellow is like feel good, green, but higher intensity. Happy, sunny, excited. Red is the angry, anxious, agitated. And blue is, well, blue. I don't know, I thought it'd be really cool for you to see your colors. People can be so fake, you know? But everyone I know with a feel great, it's like an emotional superpower. Keeping it real is like second nature now. It's also kind of creepy. Even without talking for months, she still knew me so well. She didn't even see how I'd gone off on Liam just now. I'm trying to work on my emotional superpowers, just so you know. I get it. This just this just lets you know that what you're feeling is real, but that is temporary. Plus, now you'll know when your packs your packs. Oh, that's the people I'm driving, huh? Uh, now you'll know when your packs are giving you too much shit. <laughs> too blue? You probably need to take a break. Too red? Then you gotta stand up for yourself, okay? <laughs> Tell that to my star rating. That's exactly it. This thing tells people they're pissing you off so you don't so you don't have to. I know confrontation is more my thing, but as you can see, I'm surfing a chill green wave at the moment. Chill as a cucumber. I always count them. Are you cosplaying the game? Uh kinda. <laughs> I'm I'm at least in in the right like appropriate um vibe pax means passenger in aviation they use this word a lot oh yeah i just know it as the c 
convention. <laughs> Chill as a cucumber. Lena, you're still seeing it wrong. What? What's it supposed to be? Cool. Cool as a cucumber. Oh my god, I missed you. Damn, I even tried to remember it. Like, cucumbers are served chilled. Well, I missed you too, lady. See? Now I know that... Now I know that made you happy and not, like, pissed at me. <laughs> it's broken. I'm totally pissed. Okay, I'm being serious. It's not a big deal, but the way we fought when I left... <sighs> I wasn't trying to hurt you. I know. I really don't want my feelings to upset anyone. But you do feel things. A lot, actually. Which is something I really love about you. Your heart is so amazing and the way you feel things... It's kind of beautiful. Why are you angry then? But bottling all that up doesn't make it go away. And when it all comes out, it's kind of intense. Like that night. Oh, now I'm sad. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. But I'm here, and you're here, and we're starting over. And I didn't want to risk making her mad. The weight on my chest would pass. And we're good, right? Hell yeah! I felt the weight lift off my ribcage. We're in sync again. We could always talk about the serious stuff later. Savi and I had all the time in the world now. So, how do we get to your place? I'm so ready to get out of this car. Oh shit, um, I'm really sorry, but... Can you take me somewhere else really quick first? Sure, where are we going? Well, I need you to drop me off, actually. Um, it's this guy, and, and trust me, it's, it's kind of a huge mess. You, you don't want to know. Uh... Nah, that's a bit too aggressive. I'm just gonna... Is everything okay? Oh, totally. Kind of. Um, I, I don't know, honestly. I kind of fucked up at work, and I've just got to go fix it before my shit comes- Sorry, before shit comes down on my head. I wish we could just go straight to this awesome ramen shop we're gonna love, and instead of helping my, my dumb ass. It's a little embarrassing. Well, she said she didn't want to talk about it, right? But it's still- I'm gonna- Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, it it's all gonna be fine. Um, it's just- I just gotta do this one little thing before it blows up, and then I go to keep my job. Thank the gods. <laughs> and we don't have to start looking for a cheaper place. <laughs> kidding! <laughs> it didn't really sound like she was kidding. I'd never heard her take any job so seriously before, or even hint at money problems. Maybe we'd have more in common this time around, too. <laughs> Not the best thing to have in common. No worries, I got you. To be honest, it took me a minute for my eyes to adjust to the haircut of the wig, really. Uh, but the haircut of the wig really fits Katya. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, also, it's styled way more than I usually style my hair. <laughs> Everything fits Katya. Um, um, stop. You're gonna, you're gonna distract me with all the flattery. Uh, no worries, I got you. You're the best. I mean it. Well, <laughs> right back at ya. He lives in this totally weird rich person dorm called Kinfolk. The place is crawling with techie scum. He sounds great. See? You aren't missing anything, trust me. He 
always been dying to get into this club, and tonight I can actually make it happen. But you should totally come meet up with me and Jace later. Oh, she mentioned Jace earlier. You could just pick up another ride, right? Who knows? Maybe it would be some cutie who wants to show you around L.O. <laughs> Hang on. You're going to a club right now? Yeah! It's this incredible DJ who only plays secret shows. I bet you'll really like him. Wait, so... Uh, does she not want me to come right now, or does she... This is kind of a dick move, I'm gonna say, when your friend moves in with you. I mean, maybe she couldn't help it, but it's kind of shitty. I can try and get you on the list. Let me just text Jace. Oh, this is mood. Um, I kind of just want to hang out with you. Well, this is... Does this mean I have to take it? I kind of just want to hang out with you. You will! Soon! What's the story so far? I entered a few minutes ago and I kind of lost. So, uh, we're playing Lena, uh, who is moving to Los Ojos, which is, I guess, kind of L.A. Uh, it's definitely in Southern California, so. Uh, from, like, a desert town somewhere else. Um, and she's a cab driver, or, like, an Uber driver. But most Ubers have been replaced by automatic cars by now. So it's kind of a, you know, those, those uh, jobs have mostly been removed. And uh, she's moving in with her best friend, who she has lost touch with. So they haven't talked in a year because they had a huge fight. And now she's moving in with her, and they're really happy to see each other again. And we don't really know much more, uh, except we picked up our first tutorial ride on the way into the city. A, a photographer called Liam. And uh, Tibbs thinks that that was actually an imposter who put the real Liam in his photo bag. You will, soon, uh, hang out with me. So how long have you been with him? Yes, uh, cool, okay, he, he says he'll text you all the deets soon. Great, I'll just wait for the deets. I just gotta do this thing, then, then you should head over. So when... Oh, okay, this is it, Ken Falk. She's kind of ambiguous on her opinion on this guy. Like, ugh, he's so annoying, but also they're definitely dating. I'll text you in like an hour tops, okay? Then come meet us. Sounds good. Or is she, I, I hope she's not in like some sort of bind. See you soon, Rumi. Welcome to Hello, and remember, pick up a cute pax next. I watched her bounce up the illumination steps and vanish into a soaring apartment tower. Half spacecraft, half greenhouse, and covered in glowing triangles. What was this place? Capra cars buzzed around me like I was inside some kind of nest. A few of the peoples inside gave my car a definite look from behind their tinted windows, and they were right. I wasn't supposed to be here. I was supposed to be with Savi, and even for her. This was a little much. But it was just a detour. No big deal. I, I'd do one more ride to earn some coin, then we'd get, uh, be back in sync. Things just had a way of being spontaneous with Sevi. And I was never as happy as I'd been when we were together. And I was never as happy as I'd been when we were together. Your name is Lena? I like that I used that as my character's name in <laughs> Final Fantasy. Ah, oh, and everyone calls me that here. Awesome! Hello, how are you feeling today? Your new field grid is a biofeedback device that displays your emotional state as a color. Yellow, green, blue, or red. Intense in a good way. Your field grid also measures the intensity of your emotions in three levels. Low, medium, and high. Oh, oh, that hadn't occurred to me yet. The more your field grid lights up, the more intense your feelings. The circumplex. Fancy science term. Is it though? This map represents the full spectrum of emotions. Yes, even the icky ones. Each segment is a unique state, so even though you may feel like a jumble of emotions, you feel great will let you know which one of you, which one you are actually experiencing, even if it's a little unpleasant. Feel free, notice how you think and react when you're in each color. The idea of the feel grid is simply to illuminate the feelings in your body so you can tune into your emotional awareness. Angry, anxious, hyper, cheerful, calm, chill, depressed, lethargic. 
Okay. So, hotter, cooler. Hot positive. Cool neg positive. Cool negative and hot negative. Alright, sure. Stay centered. There's no such thing as a bad emotion. Really? Just remember that the dark outer edges of the map are more intense feelings, while the lighter shades in the center are more mellow. One last thing. All emotions are valid, but the outer limits of the feel grid are meant to tell you something. Like it's time to take a break, take a nap, or even just take a moment to center. Now take a deep breath, breath, and good luck out there. You're in the red. You may be feeling anger, fear, or disgust. In the red, your heart rate is elevated, and you may have symptoms of tension such as headaches, jaw clenching, or stomach pains. You're likely to have difficulty focusing and experience fatigue and experience forgetfulness and poor judgment. Try to take deep, slow breaths and avoid spiraling into negative thinking. Not FDA approved. Hmm, cool. Oh, got it. Yes. I know. Can I? Uh, one of three rides. Daily goals. Uh, May up. We need to charge, huh? Start. You kind of wish there was a real feel grid. I totally get one. I think it's kind of creepy. I mean, it's cool, but also if everyone can see it, maybe sometimes I don't want people to know how I feel. Uh, definitely time for- oh sorry, I thought it was just a loading screen. Definitely time for a recharge. Plus, the weird way the hum of the charging station made my head feel stuffed with cotton. I kind of loved it. Even if it was probably killing brain cells. The asking price was 132 a bar. A little steep, but here I was. Mm, let's just charge it full. I considered my next move. What? No right? Man, this is a lot to drive. Let's, let's pick up... I thought I was here. Why is... Oh, she wants to go there. What's this? Gideon de Kalb. Anthony Colton. Colton Falkes, honor in chief cat herder at Cure at All. Putting a gentler dent in the universe. Peace, love, and hello. Wee! Let's pick her up. She's cute. True, I wouldn't wear it all that. Sorry, I'm running to meet you, but, but still two blocks away. Okay. Well. Can you just stop at the next corner instead of the pickup zone? I'm out of breath. Great. Not doing what the packs wanted could hurt my star rating. But pulling over in an AV zone, AV, uh, AV zone would risk a stop from the LOP, LOPD. Not to mention a ticket that would send me back some serious coin. I mean, I don't know how it is, how bad it is to to lose a star, and I don't know how high the risk of getting a ticket is. And I'm already pissed, so. I'll, I'll do this. Oh, fuck. I got it the wrong way around. Well, whatever. We'll be fine. We'll risk the ticket. Our thoughts are pretty much uh, the last thing that is still private, though I'm guessing it would help with people who are no good at picking up other people's emotions. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there are instances in which it would be useful, especially when you're like alone, but I wouldn't want to be walking around with it 24-7. To like, like you said, to announce everything to everyone. It works anyway, like a uh, modern Uber. I think they would never risk a star. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure it can be pretty devastating. 
never worked as an Uber driver, so can't say I have that experience. My headlights hit one of their cars and it froze in that weird, too fast AV way, almost like you scared it. Almost like they weren't the thing to actually, to actually be afraid of. Hey, sorry, can we go? Uh, what the way? Why? Damn. Oh, those are the things on her ears? That's a pretty sweet hairstyle. Um, I don't want to see all your vital information, girl. That's not... Of course. It's cool. I glanced at her suit for a second. What was she wearing? Half my packs have, this, have those hollow space displays, but the full body thing? Barely an hour here, and already Savi was flaking, and my packs was covered in weird gadgets. Welcome to Los Ojos. What's good? Any plans tonight? Let's open a conversation. Yeah, kinda. I just moved here. So to be roommates, and it's been interesting. I took a deep breath. Come on, Sabi. I thought we were past this. Yeah, Ella is usually pretty interesting, no matter what. Oh wait, I gotta top up. Top up what? Mind if I plug in? Plug in? The suit's running low. My car's battery was terrible at holding a charge, but it looked like I could spare some at the moment. Uh, I don't know how much... I'm just gonna assume she's gonna be responsible. Sure, happy to help. Thanks! Gotta stop forgetting to charge it at every stop. Copper makes you pay extra to use the ports in their cars. Hey, we don't do we don't nickel and dime people here at Neo We don't nickel and dime people here at Neocab. Never let people say gig work solidarity isn't a thing. Maybe this good deed will help me then when I'm limping along to a charging station later. You don't have to worry about your rating with me. I used to be a copper mate. Keep it above 4.8 stars or else. <laughs> Yeah, sounds familiar. It's four for us. You ever work for Capra? I did. Never again. Yeah, a lot of drivers went into Capra mates after the calling. Oh yeah, it was part of that. Oh yeah, it was part of that. Capra just patched out. Uh, Capra just patched our cars over the air. I was right at the beginning of our shift booted up, but the wheel was locked. Then it drove me home. Seriously? I would have freaked. So, wait a sec. Sorry, one sec. Um, how long have you been driving the Neocab? It's so annoying when packs try to pretend they didn't just zone out into their hollow space for a second. That's the hair stuff for the next stream. <laughs> Gonna need a new wig then. Almost two years. But I try not to think about it. Moving on, though. What's your opinion on Neocap, the company? Was I missing something about these questions? And how honest did she expect me to be? It's great! Oh, hey, uh, did you see the sign we just drove past? That's like the best banh mi in town. The words went straight to my stomach. I hadn't stopped to eat all night. What's pork floss? Neo crab? I mean, it's gotta be neo crab. Because I'm driving a neo cab, so. Ooh, do they have neo crab? No, but they do this machine spun soy prutin fiber mesh. It's like umami cotton candy. <laughs> so, uh, hey. Uh, would you say your opinion of Sophie's Law are mostly positive or negative? Is she a robot? Or is she just a nerd? Like... Remind me what that is? Oh, sorry, that's a dumb question. <laughs> Why would a new cab driver be for something that bans all non-automated cars? Wait, what? So, a few weeks ago, his favorite ballet dancer died in a car attack. People were just out, 
having a good time and this guy drove straight into a crowd. <laughs> Sophie and like 15 other people were killed. That's awful. Is that why I've seen so many police? Probably. People are pretty worked up. Anyway, the vote is in a few days and it'll blow over. It'll all blow over soon. Blow over? If the law passed, it looked like I'd be out of a job. The copra buzzed by me. Of course. Make human drivers illegal, and how else will people get around the city? So, uh, I know it's dumb, but uh, I just need a clear answer. Here, uh, I'll repeat the question. Would you say your opinions on Sophie's Law are mostly positive or negative? Wait a sec, was she reading these off some kind of script? Uh, what's up with all the questions? Oh, right! You're new in town. Uh, I do su surveillance. Su 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 surveillance for Capra. Surveillance? Yeah, like surveillance is from above, surveillance is from below. Is that French? It's Capra speak to me. I don't really get it either. Every time I say it, it sounds like I'm getting called out for being short. They've got cameras and sensors all over the suit. I'm like a big sponge sucking in data from everything and they're sending it to Capra. So, you've been recording our conversation all along? Yeah... Sorry, f I forget I'm even doing it. <laughs> it's just always tracking. Ugh. Ambient radiation, my own vitals... If there's an off-the-shelf sensor for it, I'm probably wearing it. <laughs> so those questions are what Capra wants to know about us, huh? Yeah, they let us chat a little bit, but yeah, it's like their questionnaire. Like opposition research stuff. Gotta fill my quota. I'm really sorry. I, I just assume everyone I talk to knows. So I've been talking to Capra this whole time. About me. About the job I scraped together when they fired me. I felt my shoulders tighten and dug my nails into the wheel. All the coppers snaking through the through the lanes suddenly came into focus like a swarm, like I was surrounded. I tried to breathe. You know, I gotta say, oh no, that does not look good. She was staring right at my wrist. My field grip was blazing red. Uh, let me switch this damn thing off. Uh, can you do that? I just did. Uh, I should have realized when you said it's your first night in LO. All this stuff is normal to me. We're so focused on our metrics. It's a terrible introduction, but... Welcome to Los Ojos. <laughs> we got a great food and a shitty panopticon. Uh, wouldn't you get in trouble for shutting it off? I might. But it's not worth making you miserable, you feel? She was quiet for the first time. I could feel her relaxing now that the suit had gone had, had gone dark. Allie flashed a smile at me and I could finally see her face. Anyways, I love your hair. I cut mine short like that once. I miss it. In this heat, I just want to shave it all off, but... That's the whole look, you know? Am I babbling? It's been too long since I've talked to someone real. Ever since I took this job, it's like I'm just a passenger in this suit, you know what I mean? Carpa does the talking and I, I'm along for the ride. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's commiserate. I, uh, I got that when I was driving for Capra, too. I still have the keys somewhere. I should mount them like antlers. Definitely. I pulled up to a shopping center. Sky skyscrapers on one side and the skeletons of their future neighbors on the other. Hey, Allie? Yeah. I I'm clicking. 
Hey, Ali. <laughs> My favorite cyberpunk cliche has to be how universal as Asian street food becomes in the future. It gives me something to look forward to in the after pandemic times. Oh yeah, street food for the win, man. <laughs> I think everybody's super excited when they first like hear about street food because it's just, it's great. I mean, there's a slight risk to it, but no risk, no fun. No risk, no street food. Uh, thanks for the insertion in area. You'll find something better. Um, hmm. uh, this is meddling, I think. Thanks again for switching it off. <laughs> I'm glad I did. I got people to talk to, but they're not on this boat. Most of my friends think I'm so lucky to have a job. Yeah, I guess that's one way to look at it. Well, I feel like I got to talk to you. Hmm. <laughs> Never let a say gig work at solidarity isn't a thing. Damn right. I'll hit you up if I need a real human again. Good luck in Los Ojos. I watched the suit blink back to life as she vanished into a crowd of shoppers. Looked like Capra could find their way into my car no matter what. Even though a sweetheart even through a sweetheart like Allie. Alright. I love street food in Korea. Yeah, I've never been to Korea, but definitely wanna check that out sometime. Gig folk gotta stick together! Yay! Stay perfect. Bunny! Okay. The after pandemic times. Oh, that boy, that's the new when I'm an adult I will phrase. Yup. <laughs> Starting to sound like a far off dream. I was thinking earlier, you know, I mean, I'm, this is perfect for streaming this game, but I definitely wish I could have done something else with all the, the work I put into all this makeup. Like, happy to talk to you guys, but going outside would have also been a nice change, you know. As I turned the corner, I slowed the car. A throng of people had gathered in the street. They surrounded an empty Capra car in a messy circle. They were yelling, barking things at each other and at the car. A few were taking swings at it with chains and socket wrenches. Club or something. Yeah, right? The auto car made dozens of tiny rapid fire turns trying to free itself from the circle. I thought of a moth trapped between window panes. Then another sound. Ugh! Cyborg! What? Was that my back door? What the hell? Another cool hairstyle, and all of them are blue glowing. I need to get out of here. I, I need you to go. I'll pay. What the? Listen, I'll explain what we need to go. You're a neocab, right? I'm... You drive people? We need to go. I can't be here. You feel great. State colors, your choices. Uh, you feel good. State colors, your choices. Sometimes adding... They're coming for her. Sometimes adding new options and sometimes enabling. Works for me if you're paying. Let's just take a breath, okay? Uh, no, she's not gonna react well to that. Um, works for me if you're paying. Uh, I don't know why you're running. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be followed. Whatever. I gritted my teeth. I was way too angry. What the hell are you doing in my car? You wanna ride? You go through Mew Cap. You don't just open my door without asking. Look, I'm sorry, seriously, but that's my fucking bike on the wheels of that copra, okay? I nearly died. If we don't get out of here now, the cops will be here and my life will actually be over. I can't explain everything, but first you need to put some distance in between us and that mob. I get it, that sounds terrifying. Okay, we're getting out of here and then you're explaining everything. I can only pick the angry option. You know what? No. If the cops are coming, that's your issue. Stop telling me what to do from the backseat of my own car. I let the silence and the tension fill the space. The packs looked so scared. The mob outside was getting worse, and did I really want to deal with LOPD right now? Hey, hey, you've got panning in your eyes. I see you. Do you see me? 
I can usually get a read on a person the first time I see their face. Savie called it my truth download. Not like she ever listened when it was about someone she wanted to date. But I needed to be calm to hear that little voice inside my head. And this pax had really had me all riled up. I met their eyes in the rearview mirror. And it worked. It was as clear as if they had as if they were saying it out loud. I knew they were sorry, they were safe, and they were just trying to survive. Like me. You're the sort of person who feels things really intensely, right? Well, this is an intense situation. Please take one second to see me asking you for help and drive. I held their gaze. Let's make it more intense. I felt the fear evaporate. My pulse show slowed. There we go. They trailed off as they watched my field grid crash from angry red into a chill green. It seemed to calm them down too. You're wearing one of those field things, and it looks like we're cool. Uh, yeah, no, we're cool. And that's good, because me and the LOPD are not. Floor it! I got us out of there in the nick of time, just as the squad cars rolled up and the bike punks scrambled into the night. What's your name? I'm Azul. Ow, why does adrenaline ever have to wear off? This shit hurts, dude. I'm Lena. Where are we going? Take me- Shit, I need to get to work! I work at this club in Les Rouge. It's not too far, I'm- Shit, ow! Can you at least tell me what happened back there? I got hit by a camera. I was on my bike. It came out of nowhere. Side swiped me, then it just kept driving. Right over my fucking bike. Did you get the plate number? Shit, no, I didn't. <sighs> Don't bother going back though, forget it. And all those people just showed up? No, no, I, I called a radix swarm. What's a radix swarm? You know who radix is, right? Uh, no clue? We're activists. We stand up against corporate entities like Capra. Radix is all about direct action to change the city for the people. I'm really, uh, those open circuits on their chest really make me nervous. Getting rid of cars just just the seed. What grows from that are what grows from that are safer streets, public transit that works, a big chunk bitten out of the luxury market. Most people just see us as punks on bikes, but most people are blind. So then what's a swarm? If you remember Radix and you're in trouble, like if you get hit by a fucking copra, you send a flare out in the app to call a Radix swarm. It alerts the other members, shows them where you are, tells them you need help. Radix has an app? All I can feel with good vibes. Oh, that's a negative answer? And that isn't? Alright. So that was help. Doesn't seem like it did much for you. It didn't. Doesn't seem like it did much for you if you're here with me. It just it got crazy. I don't know. I didn't expect that. Is it your first time calling a swarm? Yeah. But it's like I don't know. It's not supposed to be like that. What's it supposed to be like? I don't know. I thought they'd save me, but it was like they just showed up to fuck up the copra car. Nobody tried to get my bike or whatever. One dude helped me up, but like, the second I said I was okay, it didn't matter anymore. I'm sorry. That sucks. Yeah. But I'll get you where you need to go. That makes it even worse. <laughs> oh man, I meant to say that jokingly. Why do you say that? 
Because it's still a fucking car. You're still putting people at risk every day. Plus, I should be riding around in a death machine in front of a bunch of radix folks. Getting out of there was the right idea. You think they saw me get in? Nah. He seemed pretty focused on the car. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I can feel them relax. Just a little. What a fucking night. My leg's killing me. My bike's gone. Probably gonna ask me to leave Radix. I doubt that. They need people like you. People who cruise around in fucking death machines? People who call cars fucking death machines. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Look, where I'm going, I don't want them to see me get out of, the, out of your car. So can you just drop me like corner of Guadalupe and Sanders? I'll, I'll walk the rest of the way. On that leg? I'll just... It's just a scrape. It's just a flesh wound. I'm fine. Uh, your call. Well, yeah. They lean to look out the window. Okay, here's good. Maybe just pull into the alley? The whole block looked pretty deserted, but I still slipped into the shadows. Whatever would put their mind at ease. You don't, like, record this, right? That's the Neocab deal? Right. No camera, nothing on the app. You were never here, as old. Okay. Uh, well, how much do I owe you? Nah, man. I'm, I need to pay for my... For my... Not gas. My electric... Ten coins should cover it. Yeah, fair price, I guess. Here you go. Thanks. Listen, uh, listen, thanks for not kicking me out of your car. I appreciate it. But like, what you saw? No worries, I'll keep it quiet. Thanks. Shit, wait, I didn't get your name. Lena. Cool, thanks Lena. I'm Azul, I, I said that, right? You did, and you're welcome. Have a good night. Azul stepped out of the car, stumbling a bit, like they couldn't put too much weight on their knee. Without so much as a look back, though, they shook it off and limped into the alley. It was well after midnight, and I'd met my ride quota. I checked my field grid. Green. On most nights, I'd call it quits about now, or maybe push on for one last ride if I had it in me. But until I heard from Sadie, I had nowhere to go. When was she going to text me back? say it's it's kind of unnerving that I don't see how much energy I've used up until the end of my ride like I get in the game it doesn't really matter that much but like can you imagine how impractical that would be in real life like you're driving and only when you stop it's like by the way your car is almost empty <laughs> oops uh, so let me look at your conversation for a sec for a sec Yeah, I probably say three words for the whole ride on average whenever I use these things. And I think, yes, but it always depends on the chemistry you have with them, right? <laughs> I've had like whole long conversations with people where I wish my ride had been longer. And then I had other ones where, yeah, I don't know. Where you get the taxi experience of like, I don't really want to talk. It's weird to be two people in here and not talk, but I don't want to talk. <laughs> Basically like driving a Lada, <laughs> is it? <laughs> Two of three rides, so I haven't met- oh well. I have. Okay, um... I mean, sure, I don't really have anything to do, right? Is that where I am? That's where I am. Uh, can I move this map any way other than zoom out? Don't need to go there. And why can I not? No. How do I navigate this map? It's not WASD. Ah, I just pulled. I do. What's that? 
Agonon, nourish me all ye in pain. I gather my strength to rise once again. Okay. Book Howard, strategic intelligence analyst. Here, there. The opinions engage at own risk. Klaus Berg, student of the world. Any opinions expressed in this feed are mine and mine alone. They need to go all the way over there. I'm gonna really run out of my uh, uh, out of electricity. But could be good money. Also, three stars. Looks like an interesting experience. Let's go. Huh! The Pax's eyes were dim as he dropped into the back seat. Huh! He looked like a bad day comes to light. Well, no, like God's face. No. Oh, that's a tattoo. Uh, it looks more like a wound. Yeah, sure. I mean, like a bad day come to life. He was headed to the Five Street subway station. Could that be right? I didn't know people still took the subway. Agonon only sighed. I fell into traffic and left him to his mood. I had my own things to stew about. I should have been with Savi by now, drinking to my new life in Los Ojos. A nice spicy margarita, made by a robot, probably. Instead, she left me to drive the graveyard shift with a sad, silent Pax. Lexi was blowing me off for the thousandth time. Just bad it was just bad timing. She seemed so anxious about her work thing. I could totally relate, even if my boss was an algorithm. I'd laugh this one off with her when we were un unpacking boxes tomorrow. Agonon found my eyes in the... Agonon or Agenon? Found my eyes in the rearview mirror. He pulled his lips into a tight, joyless smile. Lena, right? That's me. Lena, what makes you so happy? Uh, excuse me? I saw you smiling to put yourself just now, uh, to yourself just now. Pursuing that feeling. You look like a happy person. I mean, isn't it everyone's? No, decidedly not. Are you convinced that you're happy? Tell me this, is it working? Are you happy? He looks like a happy camper. Uh-huh. Well, happiness comes and goes for me. Exactly. Like a mirage. Like the illusion happiness is. I mean, I, I wouldn't... No, don't be sad, Lena. He can say those things. Life has ups and downs. I have resigned myself to the underlying truth. Let me guess. Life is pain. Pain is life. Arr! It's the only constant I find. He's Schopenhauer! Okay, let's hear it. What's the story? He gazed out the window. It would take too long to tell. Besides, it's the feeling that matters. I'd heard a lot of sad stories inside this car and told a few of them myself, too. Something told me this one was going to be a little new. He knows where Liam is. <laughs> Find Liam. Free Liam. Hashtag free Liam. Uh, well, this too shall pass, right? Whatever it is. <laughs> Being in a bad mood together feels kind of good, doesn't it? It does. He was quiet, but I could almost feel him forming something to say. It was intense. You seem like... Mm. He wrung his long fingers in his lap. Spins. May I tell you about something very important to me? Uh, sure, what is it? Agenon's voice dropped deeper, like he was speaking from inside a cave. You carry me now on my nightly quest to seek the pain worm. It is called Medawopian, a dark leviathan that broils beneath Los Ojos, feasting. 
the subway? Like, what drugs do you take before you do this? We nourish it, you see? You and I and millions like us, and soon... Uh, very soon, Metawopian will emerge. Ah, that's Maya! Bellowing its cry of infinite despondence. And it will consume all of our pain. All of it. Gone. Forever. Ah. Well, that's just... Also, the city will be destroyed. Oh. What a time to be alive. Ajinon made a hissing sound. I decided to leave him to his gloomy silence. It was so dark, I almost missed the subway station. There was only a flickering sign over a dingy stairwell. Stairwell? He seemed like he was waiting for me to say something. Hey, at least we're feeling something, right? If we didn't, the pain worm would starve. Mm-hmm. I, I literally, that sound ma just made me think like, wait, I don't live near train tracks. <laughs> In his dark coat, he moved across the street like a shadow and disappeared into the subway tunnel. Hello, Louise. You missed a lot of story, unless you already know this game. We are a, a futuristic, cyberpunky uh, Uber driver uh, in a world where there's barely any Uber drivers. It's all automated cars. And we hate the company that has the automated cars. And because they kicked us out, because we used to drive for them. And also we moved in with our best friend, but they she ditched us right away, because she's She's... Well... She seems a little spontaneous. Um... The pain word sounds like something their girls would eat. <laughs> Definitely. Or maybe he just shop on our trains into the suburb. Sub suburbs. Suburbs. I'm sure we'll find out in time. So he always gives three stars, or...? You, Agenon. He tipped me, though. Not cool. Not cool at all. Oh! Look at her. So sorry, Lena. Fast as you can. Uh, well... Where are you? Wait, what? Uh, well, okay. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. I'm flooring it. Be there ASAP. An LLPD speed trap nearly nabbed me on the way over. Too close. But I still wasn't fast enough. This was definitely it. The location of Savvy's SOS ping. Or was it SOS? It was just an empty lot in between some abandoned storefronts. I could only see as far as my headlights, but there was no trace of her. No texts and so sorry either. I called out her name. There was no answer. Had I just missed her? If I'd driven here faster, would she be getting into my car right now, laughing off her a crazy night? It was so dark I could barely see the broken bottles all over the ground. This wasn't a good place for anyone to wait around at night, especially alone. Especially someone like Savi. Then I saw it. Face down on the curb, her phone. I grabbed it and a chill ran up my arms. It was shattered right in the center of the hollow screen, now totally dark and cold. It looked like it had been stepped on. There was a sticker on the back punk-looking symbol of a wasp inside a bicycle gear. 
I sketched it in my journaling app and stashed her phone in my glove box. That explained the radio silence. What had happened here? Someone must have grabbed it from her. Someone who didn't want her texting me. Who would do that? If you know her at all, you know Savy is not someone you should mess with. My field grit went red hard. Hard red. That seemed about right. I wondered what Savy's field grit looked like right now. What was she feeling? What was she thinking? All I could imagine was not comforting. Gotta get my lurky lurk on, but have fun. All right. <laughs> I tried to push back my thoughts and focus on what I could do right now. I remembered what Azul had told me about Radix. Radix. No cops. My body felt crazy. Like I was buzzing with nerves, but at the same time I could barely keep a thought in my head. I had nowhere to go and no one to help talk things out. All I could do was try to get some sleep. My only option was Crasher to find a cheap motel or a spare room somewhere. Anywhere but a copper capsule, if I could afford it. I closed up my nail cap shift. At least I'd hit my quota before my world turned upside down. Yeah, no, I know. I mean, this sucks, right? Because I'm... This also doesn't make any sense mathematically. If I've been getting five-star ratings consistently, one three-star rating should not bring me down to three eight. Like, what? Oh, that's where I am? Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it there, so I need to go. Oh, 99 cents a bar, all right. Charging up before I was running low? My dad would be so proud. It will cost me 98 cents per bar. A pretty sweet deal, actually. Yeah, so. Back on the road. Twenty. Well, this is close to where I picked her up, right? So, let's go there. It's cheaper, too. Not much, but a little bit. Oh, fuck, they're copper capsules. So not only was Savy missing, whatever was going on was forcing me to give money to copper, my last resort. Wait, did I have any other choice? I checked in at a kiosk in the hospital, white lobby, and followed purple floor lighting to elevator 2 and capsule 350. Gleaming shelf slid open at my approach and sealed me in with a soft hiss. I knew it was a glorified, glorified torpedo tube. I don't know how they made it feel like a luxury moon pod. It's actually annoying how good copper is at, is at this stuff. I fell asleep immediately and woke up like my body had just leapfrogged ahead in space time. But where had my mind gone? I felt foggy and just off. I thought of those old body snatching snatcher sci-fi movies. Pod people? How about capsule people? Good evening, Nina. Athena, Capra's unflappable AI, chirped at me. Yikes. This whole situation gave me the creeps. I slipped back into my car like I wanted to apologize to for the betrayal. The memory of what had happened last night was a shadow of, over everything around me. The desperate text, save his smashed phone. It's hard to keep my mind and just keep, feel into my body for a second. Physically, I felt clear-eyed and centered, like my mind had been doing yoga poses while I slept. My feel great even glowed a reassuring white. Hehe. <laughs> Ugh, this wasn't working. Where the hell was she? This wouldn't be the first time she'd ghosted, but this felt different. And I knew basically nothing about what her life in Los Ojos was like. Savi was headed to a nightclub, but its name? Total mystery. Oh, and she was in some kind of trouble at work, whatever that was. 
I tried to recall as many details as I could about last night, scribbling in my journal app until my hand ached. Maybe I'd seen that symbol on her phone before, af after all. It wasn't a name, but it was a person to track down in a neighborhood. As long as I met my Neocap quota, I could stay on the search without losing my job and leaving LO as a total disaster. Alright, let's get our rating back. What I don't get is um, when I clicked on on Algernon or Algernon, Adrenon, not Algernon, <laughs> it showed three stars. And that's the rating he gave me. So was that the rating that I could expect from him? Because I thought that was the rating of the driver. I need to get to the Cadence and I need to get there fast. What's that? A restaurant? It's the casino, the big one. I remember when cab drivers were expected to memorize things like this. Oh honey, those those days are over already. Sorry, I haven't updated my programming in a while. You're AI and self-aware? How ghastly. No, sorry, I'm I'm just aware of my bad jokes. Humor, yes, wonderful. I love humor. Hmm, it's very human. <laughs> anyway, don't mind me. I'm just pressed for time. Head to Frontera, north side. That was a straight shot. Easy trip. Oh no, don't go that way. Rajaniemi Square. Rajaniemi Square is a mess. You can barely get through. Great, a backseat driver. I can go around. Would you like me to take Jean, Jean Street, Jean Street, or Flambour? Choose one at random. And I do mean random. <laughs> as random as you can make it. Weird. This was a whole different kind of backseat driving. Psychological. I whispered eeny, meeny, miny, and swerved at the last moment into Flambour Street. Not Jean? You said to choose. Wait. Ah, yes. That's just what I needed. Uh, so I chose correctly? No, no, I was desperate for a bit of a, uh, for a bit of chance, a dose of entropy. Randomness, you know, resets my mind. Sometimes one finds oneself in a rut of predictability. Tell me about it. It's why humor is such a bomb. Comedy is based on the unexpected twist. <laughs> Interesting method. How about I pick a number? No, that's that's hokey. Between one and one trillion. Not that kind of randomness. I need chance with real stakes. Which is why I'm zooming down Flambour towards a casino. Yes, but now I'm not sure it will work. The stakes there are high in monetary terms, but they don't actually matter, don't you find? Eh. They matter when you hold, when you roll a hot thirteen. You've never been inside a casino, have you? Technically, I have not. No, the casino definitely isn't going to work. I need to find some entropy that matters. Why? What's this all about? Well, it's simple. Almost obvious. Something is wrong with the world. I agree with you there. Not that kind of wrong. A deeper kind. Sadly, I fear our timeline has become tangled. 
Corella de Vil, right? Right? The hair streak. The hair streak is what really does it. The universe is made of infinite timelines, always branching based on the tiniest decisions. It's perfectly coherent and stable, as long as the branches remain distinct. I waited for her to say more. So you see the obvious danger. Yes, obvious. Yes, obvious is exactly the word I would have chosen. So if our timeline is tangled up with another one... Can there be two Linas in one timeline? Technically, yes. Statistically, no. <laughs> but certainly the Lina driving this cab might not be the one from my timeline. You might be lost, my dear. It feels about right. Well, the same could be true of other people, too. Has anyone you know suddenly changed? Or even disappeared? Now that, Una, is a good joke. I thought as much. Tell me what happened. It should help me calibrate. Um. Sh let's go. Let's take a chance. I told her what had happened with Savi. I was supposed to move in with my best friend and she didn't show. And now, I don't know if she's in trouble or hurt. Or maybe just the worst. She listened like my story was feeding her. Maybe I'd get five stars out of it, but it was a little creepy. So your friend just vanished. With no explanation. None. And you don't know how to feel about it. It confuses you. I mean, would you be confused? Perfect, perfect. I don't know if you caught the part where I said she might be hurt. She ignored me. Now, this next part is crucial. If your friend hadn't disappeared, where would she be right now? I don't know. I just moved here. Please, just yes. Think in terms of chance and what if and maybe. Let them wash over you. I could tell she was never going to drop it. and it, I might as well indulge her. All of that happened just to choose a road, right? Okay, if she hadn't, if she hadn't just blinked off the map, Savior would probably be... Here in my car. Right next to me in the passenger seat, just cruising. Savy blowing perfect vape rings out of the window. Calling out compliments to everyone, whether they liked it or not. Mm. We'd be blasting some cheesy mix from high school. It would have been awesome. Yep, that's exactly where Savy should be. She'd be right here, with me. She looked around the cab as if she'd just noticed it. She would, would she? I remembered Radic Radix and what Savi had said about being anti-car. Oh, definitely. Well, drive me around then. Let me feel her absence. I passed the turn that would have taken us to the casino. Una sat like a statue, looking straight ahead. It wasn't the look most packs get when they're raining their screens. But then she was reading Space Time? My mind wandered, wandered, and I thought about all the maybe savies in other timelines. She could be doing so many things. It was part of why I wanted to move in with her again. Like drinking at some hipster dive bar, the kind without any sign out front. Because she would know someone who knows someone with a password. You can pull over here, dear. Thank you. That was good, very useful. I wish I could pay you back in kind and help you locate your friend. Information is obscenely undervalued against coin, don't you agree? Any clue would help. I've got nothing to go on. Well, I can't tell you where she is, I'm afraid, but I can't, can tell you where she was supposed to be. At this moment, in a stable timeline, she's at a terrible Berlin techno-themed club called Stanzmaschine. Am I saying that right? It's not that far from here in any case. Yes, actually, Una, you said it perfectly. 
You're... <laughs> you're unbelievable, Una. I... I think I can use this. Ah, oh, think nothing of it. It's merely a byproduct of my work. So, I have to ask, are you... A witch? <laughs> are you a witch? A physicist? No, no, though you're not the first person to think that. <laughs> Just a quantum statistician. Just uh, think of me as an accountant, except the spreadsheet is very, very large. And you can be simultaneously rich and broke. <laughs> I don't think I could handle that kind of uncertainty in my Capra Cash account. Oh, don't worry about that. Counter-espionage is quite lucrative. <laughs> in any case... Wait, back up. Counter-espionage? Ah, yes. With a little time, a little luck, and just the right entropy differential, no secret is safe. <laughs> the only way to protect your communications from a quantum statistician is to hire a better one. And I'm the best there is, so... That's unbelievable. You'll see. I really must dash. Uh, thank you for the ride and the story. This timeline is indeed as unstable as I feared. And we might even be able to fix it. Wait, we might fix it? She slid out and walked up the sidewalk, away from my car, zigging and zagging as she went. It looked random. And the sinking feeling in my stomach? That felt very, very certain. If there really were infinite timelines. Did any choices really matter? I reached for my phone to find my next packs. Time to choose again. Why is my back my 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 uh back what's it called? M mirror, that mirror? Why is that a screen? It seems unnecessary. Are mirrors no longer a thing? in the future we don't need any mirrors anymore we just display whatever we want on the screen well but the, but i i don't I, I, there's a point to mirrors you know well who cares thank you for the on thank you for the honesty and the entropy yay i will no longer get fired because of one three star rating Mirrors aren't a thing nowadays. Oh, are mirrors a lie? Oops. Police. Oh god. No, it's an AI, is it? I'd seen LOPD officers on the news before. Cold black screens where their faces should be. I tried to keep from looking back, from moving around too much, from looking as suspicious as I felt. Seeing one in person rattled my nerves even more. Where was I supposed to look? I need to see your license and registration. Right, uh, of course. I swiped accept on my phone. Oh, I thought I thought the, the profile shot had a beard. <laughs> Oh, but cameras have a better angle. Oh, really? Well, the flickering on my, my on my rear view, rear view mirror, that's what that's called in English. Uh, the flickering is really irritating. Uh, I swiped accept my phone. My ID flashed onto this onto his screen. I was in the system. It says here Cactus Flats. Yes, I'm new in town. Mm. What's your address, ma'am? Uh, mm, 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 mm. I don't know what this address is. Is she pulling that out of randomness, or...? I don't have one yet. You don't have one yet. I just- I just moved here. I'm- I'm trying to get in touch with my friend. We're supposed to be roommates. And they were roommates! So I I'll know soon. I, I just don't right now. Great job, Lena. Not suspicious at all. Do you know why you've been pulled over? Do, do you? Uh, I don't. 
I don't think I was speeding. You made an illegal pickup in a designated Capra zone. Oh, for fuck's sake. For my last pickup? That was on the other side of town. How would he have seen me? I was only there for 10 seconds. It had to be that Capra car that passed by. I didn't realize. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't know, sorry. What? That's 45 coin for the AV zone violation? Are you serious? What the hell? I see your copper cash wallet has the funds. Great, I can just withdraw the coins directly. Wait, a fine and they'd hit my copper cash account? How could they do that? That's no talking back. Okay. <sighs> okay, I didn't know that. Mm. You're new in town. Yes, very. So you're probably not aware of friends of the LOPD. I'm not. Well, we throw a yearly policeman's ball. It's a great time. Really helps the community. It's an initiative supported by the Friends of the LOPD, a charitable organization made up of citizens like you. <laughs> I see. Would you be interested in making a don't- Fuck no! I just made a, a really good donation, I think. If this was how things operate in Los Ojos, did I have to play ball? Folks normally donate about 20 coin. I, I can't. I'm 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 low on cash. Understood. Your fine will be automatically deducted from your wallet. Yeah, I mean that's like twice the amount people usually donate. And the violation will appear on your record unless you contest it in court. Any questions? <sighs> yeah. Can you can you just just piss off? I couldn't put myself in Copper's pocket. Um, no. You know, you really stick out on the road. Neo cab. Most people use Capra. I felt his words the pit of my stomach. Drive safe, Miss Romero. Fun! Didn't know those ojos was in Switzerland. Woo! <laughs> No, if it was in Switzerland, this would have been a 300 coin charge and the game would be over because I don't even have a third of that. Uh, I waited until my breathing slowed before I started the car again. My field grid was deep in the deep red. No surprise. All I wanted to do was end a bad day with a good sleep, thanks to Sadie's disappearing act, that wasn't an option. Either way though, I had to make up for that ticket. Damn it! And of course now I'm more upset that I didn't click, that I didn't read accurately enough, carefully enough, and click the option that I didn't mean to click. Ah. Oh well, who knows what, maybe my rating would be at 2 right now. Either way, Either way, though, I had to make up for that ticket. I needed the money, so I needed a PAX. <sighs> 45. Maybe I'm just, maybe it's just because I'm used to the very, like, um, audaciously low fines that we have in Germany for traffic violations, but still, like, give me a break. Stanzmaschine. Oh, that's the symbol she had on her phone, huh? Let's go to Stanzmaschine. Do I need... No. Oh, but I need a ride, huh? <sighs> Fiona Park. My idea of a good picture is one that's in focus and of a famous person. 
but apparently not one that puts your whole face in the in the screen in the setting up my neocab. All right, sure, let's go, Sam. I spotted him standing in front of Buzzburger, gawking at the pedestrians like he was in an aquarium. Ah, tourist. I idled and waited for him to notice me. Fuck it, I'm in a rage. I honked to get his attention. Bleh. He jumped and flashed a grin like I was Santa driving a sleigh. Hi, are you Lena? I'm Sam. He held out his phone with his ride request as if showing me an important me important documents. Yep, that's me. Oh my god. <laughs> First time using new cab? Oh jeez, is it that obvious? You just looked a little starstruck by everything, that's all. Like a real noob, right? <laughs> I suppose that's fair. Did he just say noob? Wait, do people still use that word? I think the bigger question is why would you be one? <laughs> I haven't heard it since I was a kid. Well, that makes sense, I guess. I mean, less track of the lingo while... N never mind. Uh, that was a little weird. So, where are you visiting from? Visiting? Nah, I'm coming back home. I suppose I do look like a tourist, though. Yeah, maybe a little. Oh, you're just being nice. I bought the ship from a copper charging station, okay? In that case, you definitely look like a tourist. Well, I'll take it. It's better than the truth. I've had enough late-night confessionals in my car to know when someone had a secret they didn't really want to keep. So, what made you want to take a neocab, then? Oh my god, look out! There's no one driving that car! He's a time traveler, huh? Probably in cryo sleep or something. I followed his panic, but it was just a standard Capra car, Capra car buzzing towards us. The Capra? Are you serious? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I just never seen one in real life before, and seeing a car spinning towards me without anyone driving in it, God, it really freaks me out. I, I can see that. Look, I don't want to pry, but this is getting weird. You're right, um... It's my first night back in Los Ojos in a while. Like, 15 years? Minus 5 for good behavior? Oh, I see. Times have changed fast, huh? For exactly 3,413 very long days. Huh? It's like he was searching for the right words. So much has changed while I was inside. It's like a little overwhelming to be honest. But I thought a new cab might be a good place to start. My pulse raced in my ears so I could couldn't think straight. Well, I mean that's not a big deal to say. An ex-con. That was a new one. Never a dull moment here at Neo Cab. Ten years. So in that case. Let's just think of you as a time traveler. In the world's worst time machine? Yikes, I hope that didn't come across as condescending. Sounds good to me. Uh, want me to fill you in on what's happened in the last decade? Yeah, that'd be helpful. AI ballets? Um. That's a bitter comment? Maybe not shock him into reality. Well, you can get paid to record your dreams now. Hang on, what? How's that possible? Not exactly sure. There's a crazy helmet you have to wear. I think it measures brain activity? But the dreams aren't in high def, so I guess they're still working on it. And who's buying the dreams? Artists? Can't afford them. No, mainly corporations. They use them to measure brand retention. Of course they do. 
Feels like it's only a matter of time now before they figure out how to monetize our nightmares. All right, I think that's enough of an update for one night. Missing the old days? A little bit, yeah. But it's more that I'm finally starting to see things I recognize around here. The city streaming by couldn't have been less familiar to me. The towering skyline, the neon signs fighting for the attention of an empty street. Sam's face had gone soft and dreamy like he was seeing old friends. I had a list of stuff I was going to do as soon as I got out. Get a proper haircut and some clothes that were in orange. And now, the thing I've been picturing the most, walking through her door again for dessert. I stayed quiet. My weekly quota for weird sex stories was already maxed out. I'm a little nervous about seeing Aunt Cassie again, honestly. I don't know if she'll recognize me. So I'm taking him to get dessert from his aunt? Your aunt? Yeah. But she's not really my aunt. aunt. She's just amazing and she makes the best cookies. Well, good for him for having his own sugar mama. She sounds like quite a lady. She is, absolutely. Thanks for chatting with me. Uh, sh chatting with me with about... Chatting with me about all this makes me feel like I'm a normal person. Can I ask why you went to jail? Uh, sure, why not? Uh, so, I was just out of college and I had this roommate. A good dude, but flaky. And sure enough, two months in a row, he couldn't make rent. And I didn't have any savings or any job. And the place was in my name, so I was scrambling. And one day, he brings me this deal. Let some guys keep their opium plants in our place for a few months. Uh, no selling, no dealing, just taking care of the plants, like gardening, basically. I'm, I've always been good with plants, and it paid our rent, and then some. Yikes. Yeah, got caught after us the second month. And since we had so much product, they charged us as if we were like drug kingpins. And when, swear to god, I never even smoked a joint. That sounds awful. Yeah, it wasn't great. But I had a coping mechanism. Everyone has to have a thing in prison, you know? The scale you bring to the table so the guys respect you. I don't know how to fix cars and I have pretty much zero connections. I can't draw to save my life, so no one wanted my stick figures as a tattoo. Are you saying you won over a group of convicts with... Cookies? <laughs> I know, I know, worst lamest inmate, but <laughs> was all I could do, believe me. A lot of the guys had never baked anything before. Been baked, been baked, but never baked. That, that was my regular joke. <laughs> Come on, Lena. Ugh. See? I told you baking is my only skill. He's pretty chipper, like... <laughs> For getting like a total culture shock in the place you live, used to live, and everything's different, and having like a kind of grumpy driver, he's he's really upholding his mood well. <laughs> he reached into his jacket pocket and unwrapped a perfectly golden cookie. Here, I baked a few this morning to show her how she saved me, even when I was inside. I want you to have one. Well, that's so sweet. I could see the chocolate chips were dark and just melted enough. The edges looked crisp and the middle looked soft and buttery. Heaven. I'm gonna trust him. I ate it without a second thought. Hope I don't trip out now, but he said he doesn't do drugs, so... It was chewy and delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> you like it? This is like cookie nirvana. Oh, take a left. I walked down this street so many times, either looking for trouble or trying to get out of some. <laughs> but it's going to be different now. Cassie's Cookies. Cassie's Cookies. What do you think of that name? Mm, pretty simple. Mm, what's your second option? A backup plan, you mean? <laughs> I haven't got one. <laughs> Honestly, the shop is kind of the only thing I have to look forward to right now. 
His voice buzzed with energy. That was seeing Aunt Cassie. We're almost there. How do I look? I could see on my navigator that we were close to the address. But I wasn't sure this particular part of Los Ojos had stayed the same all these years. You look great. You're really nice, you know that? Not a lot of people would be so kind to someone like me. Wait, is this Beaumont Drive? It is. I pulled up to a glow. Not the charming porch light of some kind of woman's house, but the neon glow glare of a copper charging station. Oh no! It, it was right here! What's going on? No, this can't be. I'm so sorry. The whole Outer Lands is condos now? God, it's like a yuppie fever dream. What happened? I'm not sure. Progress is the party line, I think. He repeated my word like it was the first time he'd heard it. Progress. It's gone. She's gone. Do you have her number or anything? I, I don't even know her last name. God, I must look so pathetic to you. Is there somewhere else you want to go? Sam kept silent except for loud, shaky breaths. I could feel him willing himself not to cry. The tension was making my stomach hurt. Take all the time you need. I could hear him unwrapping more. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been reading him like a total dope. Uh, I could hear him unwrapping more cookies in the back seat. You know what? I need to stop kidding myself. I know where you can take me. The grackle. It's a shitty bar. You know what? I don't, but... Sounds like it's not the nicest place. Oh, don't worry, I'll fit in. That was what I was worried about. I started up the engine and rolled out the neighborhood with all its ghosts. It's not a drink I'm after, believe me. Been sober going on 11 years now. But I know there will be at least a few familiar faces sitting at the bar. And if Deb still owns the place, she might even let me crash on the break room sofa. The grackle was close. It made sense that it had been his regular haunt, and I doubted he was the first person to head there after a stint in prison. It's probably not my place to say it, but... I, I still think Cassie's cookies is a good idea. All the bakeries in LO are so trendy now. Flavor foam, savory donuts. There's something refreshing about a chocolate chip cookie. Something classic. Well, as a time traveler, I have to say, classic sounds a lot like old. The dive bar loomed in our sight before I could respond. A few gnarly motorcycles and gnarlier-looking characters loitered out front. With his choir boy haircut and pristine jeans, Sam definitely had a rough road ahead. Look, I hate to ask you this, but I wasn't planning on having to pay for a place to sleep tonight. Aunt Cassie had one of those industrial mixers I was going to use for the bakery. Now I have to buy one, but banks don't usually give out loans to ex-cons, you know? What do you need? It's too much, I'm sorry. I mean, I really don't have anything. I don't think an industrial mixer costs 30 bucks. How much? You know, 20 coin would really help. <sighs> uh, oh man, he was so happy when he got in my car. Thanks. 
I'm gonna need to count every penny from now on. <laughs> every penny. <laughs> Just another relic from the past. As he hopped out into the night, I hoped that there weren't any more bad surprises waiting for him. But in this town, I knew that was too much to hope for, even for a guy who just wanted to bake chocolate chip cookies. Welcome back to the world, Sam. Alright. Yeah, right. R ride. Ride was the best option, right? Decent app. Driver was great. Couldn't figure out how to tip in this app. Man! Well, but you weren't supposed to pay me. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I, I, okay, well, that's nice. This game is really melancholic, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take a break. Uh, before we go on our next ride. Ah, <sighs> we're back. Welcome back. Welcome back to New Cab. Everyone, as you can see, I have suddenly turned blonde. I don't know how that happened. Uh, but it did. So, <laughs> let's keep playing. After I turn the sound back on. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. Whoosh. Magic. Exactly. Definitely look better with the wig. But it kind of hurts my scalp. You know what I'm saying? I've been wearing it for a couple of hours. Uh, my poor head needs a rest. But, um... Uh, here we go. Uh, let's find Savvy. Or Savvy. Um, it was well after midnight. And I'd been my right quarter. I checked my field grid. Blue. I had it in me to push on for one more ride tonight. Or I could call it early and get some rest. Push on. I decided to push on. Every pax was a chance to learn the city and earn some coin. No, we're going to the, the German club. Are you kidding me? Get it while the, the lead is hot. <laughs> oh, it's our buddy. Mm -mm. Not not doing that again, because uh, you will fuck my rating up. Okay. Hey, it's Liam. Welcome back. Thanks. Thanks, Mish. Um, well, that's Liam. Bunuel. I really want to pick up Liam again. But... It's too far. Screw it, we'll go here. Because, I mean, if I only go there two nets from now, nothing useful is going to happen. Stanzmaschine, or should I pronounce it more American like? Stanzmas. machine. <laughs> anyway, Stanzmaschine was all dramatic haircuts, pounding bass, and bass, pounding bass, and scowls. And that was just the outside. The bouncer loomed in front of the door like a boulder. Given my complete lack of poker face and an outfit that was still more cactus flats than Les Rouge, I didn't look the part. Mm. Uh. I took a breath and. Hey, look at you! Hey, new cab! It's you! It's me! You lost? Not exactly. Hey, uh, maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone. What? No, how are you? No, hey, Azul, nice to see you. Sorry. How are you? Listen, Azul, I don't... I know, I know, I'm just kidding, jeez. It's actually kind of good to see you. Uh, didn't get to thank you for what you did. You're welcome. 
It was, it was really decent of you. Not what I expected. You got me where I needed to go. Not a lot of drivers would do that. Why not? Because it's selfless? And driving is what? Inherently selfish? Uh, yeah, it is. How so? Think about it. Every day you wake up in a totally modern, totally accessible city. You use your two working legs to sit behind the wheel of a death machine. I feel like they had a run-in with a car before. Maybe that's what the arm is from, but I'm, that's assuming a lot. Just saying. And you cruise around, blasting shit into the ozone layer, consuming energy. When you could ride a bike, or at least take public transit. You don't think that's selfish? I wasn't sure how Azul wanted me to answer. I had come to get information, not a monologue. I mean, I guess... It is. I'll say you've definitely got a heart, but... The next step's giving up the car. Then, joining Radix. Yeah, maybe one day. Well, if you decide to do it, call me. I'll take that sweet referral bonus. Wait, there's a referral bonus? It's a joke. Right. But you probably didn't come here for the sales pitch. I didn't. Well, how about I give you give it to you anyway? No, I don't have... The short version is, Car's bad, bike's good, cars hurt and kill people. Hurt bad, death bad. Neo cab helpful? Neo cab helpful one time. But let's remember why I had to get in the Neo cab, right? Hit by a car. Second time, too. A second? Is that... What? You want to talk about the elephant in the sleeve? I don't really have time for... I got it. Look at me being smart. Picking up the hints. By a Capra? Bingo! One of the older models. I was biking home from study hall years ago. Came out of nowhere. Didn't even slow down. I felt for Ozul. They were a little rough around the edges, but no one deserved that. I'm... I'm really sorry that happened. Whatever. But... It's why I was so messed up the other night. You know, a lot of bad memories came back. I get it. I'm sure you do, but you're probably not here to hear my life story. So why are you here? I need to get inside. I'm looking for a friend. She's gone missing. Her name is Savi, and... Everything in Azul's expression changed, and they stood up straighter. Hey, they know her, huh? Savi? You know Savi? You know Savi? No, seriously, Neocab, you bullshit. No bullshit. You know Savi? Yes. But why do you think she's in there? Um, because this is the only Radix club I know. And you're what, her friend? Business associate? She's my best friend. Can I please just get inside? I, I just want to find her. Maybe she doesn't want to see you? Look, I saw her last night. She seemed pretty work up about so worked up about something. Said she'd explain when we met up in an hour or two. When she finally texts me a pin, I race over there and she's gone. But there's her phone smashed on the pavement. Huh. Probably had a temper tantrum or something. Smashed the phone and blew you off. She's intense like that. Is this a game? Azul was playing devil's advocate with Savi's safety. Savi wouldn't do that to me. We were moving in together that night. And she would never leave her phone behind. But I figured I should come here because when I picked the phone up, there was this Radix sticker on it. Uh, yeah, obviously. 
What do you know? I know that's definitely Savi's phone. Savi's like basically the new face of Radix. This sounds insane. Savi's totally not the Radix type. Or I mean, she wasn't a year ago. A year ago. I guess anything was possible. I'd seen her reinvent herself more than once. Yeah, well, things change, Neocab. Plus, it's easy to become Queen Radix when your boyfriend is the de facto king. Radix is non-hierarchical. There are no leaders. But it's definitely got cool kids. You know, high school all over again. Who's the boyfriend? Jace. You don't know who she's dating? You don't sound like a great best friend. Right, yeah, just go on. Okay, so Savi came in with Jace a couple months ago, wrapped around him like a scarf. Oh yeah. <laughs> Suddenly she's all the she's at all the meetings, he's looking at her she's he's looking at her like she's the manic pixie bike girl. She's got all these bright ideas to take down Capra, and it's like, I don't know, classic. Do you think Jace might have done something to her? Jace? Fuck no, he wouldn't hurt her. I don't think that's it. But I'll tell you what I do think. I think it's no fucking surprise she's gotten in hot water. Why not? Because that's how this shit goes. Savi, listen, I know her. And I know her type. She's smart, she's dynamic, she's pretty, she's charming, she is a dream girl. I mean, everybody's kind of in love with her. Everybody wants her time. One night, she's with Jace, doing political organizing. Next time I see her, she's hanging out with some edgy DJ. Then, the other day, I'm passing Copper Tower, Tower and you're seeing with this tech bro douchebag. A cappy shill straight out of central casting, wearing a hoodie and everything. Don't hate on hoodies! Don't hate on hoodies, Azul. It's not cool. And hey, you'll like this new cab. She's getting into his car. Do you know who he was? I only got his first name. He said something like, her and her friend Charlie were gonna go talk. But she said friend like, you know. Like... Like, there was something going on. I don't know. Oh, don't worry about him. He's just a friend. That tone. <laughs> maybe they're actually just friends? I don't know, maybe. Savi's the kind of person... You spend enough time with her... You kind of just don't want to be friends. You kind of don't just want to be friends, you know? I feel like, I feel like Lena knows that. Like, I got that vibe earlier. But, uh, should we be, should we be headstrong about this? I'm not sure. Do we want to bond with Azul over kind of having a thing for Savi? That's kind of true, yeah. Oh, it's kind of very true. Point is, I'm trying not to get involved. Seems like a recipe for drama, and that's some shit I don't need. <sighs> I just need to know if she's okay. Well, I wish I could help. Can I at least go in and ask around? Nah. You did a nice thing for me, Neoka, but I'm not letting you in. The Schlitz machine isn't your scene anyway. I'm not going to hang out. I'm going for Savi. If you want to use Savi's name to get in here, bring her with you. Is there anything I can do? I should probably just follow the trail of dudes she leaves in her wake. Find someone who gives a shit. You know, I've had it. I mean it. Find someone who'd notice she's missing, like the guys who follow her around like puppy dogs. Right, so... Jace, hot DJ, Copper Charlie... Easier than trying to get any Radix to talk to a death dealer. 
No, I'm a death dealer now. Since the minute you got your license. Ugh. Been great chatting up. Been great catching up, Miyoka. But I'm on the clock, aren't you? I set my own hours. And all it costs is your soul. You're welcome for all the help. <laughs> Drive safe. Well, so you kind of a you kind of a pill sometimes, you know. I waved and headed back to the road. Follow the dudes. Jace I knew about, and when had Savi not been stringing along some DJ? But cop but hopping into a car with a copper type, that didn't add up. Charlie, he must be the one she was meeting the night she disappeared at that rich person dorm, Kinfolk. Wait, but she, she was talking about Jace, wasn't she? I didn't exactly have much to go on, but a clue was a clue. Uh, did you actually match the color of your straw for this game? Uh, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Um, this is one of the, the, the plastic straws I still have left over from when I bought them, like, six years ago. So I'm trying to, like, use my way through them. <laughs> Um, so this one turned out purple and now it matches my outfit. Kind of. It's a bit too dark, I think. So, no, it, I didn't. Uh, but I probably should have claimed I did. All right. Um. All right. He wants... Oh, look at that. Liam still wants a ride. So... 138. The 209. Can I make it here? Uh, 110. I mean, this way is faster, so I might spend that much money anyway. Right, I'll go to this one. Yikes. A little low when I didn't know when I'd be able to charge up again. Each bar would take me back 137. A little steep, but here I was. Um. Continued on my way. Let's go! Maybe he took some interesting pictures. Liam waved to me before he got in the car. He looked excited to see me. I was too miserable to muster much of a smile, but I gave it a shot. It seemed to work. Hey, Lena! Wow, what are the odds we see each other again? All the near cabs in all of Los Ojos. Well, the odds are very good. I'm one of maybe three neo cabs left in the city. Oh, well, I'll call it fate anyway. More fun. How have you been, Lena? Uh, kind of rough. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Anything in particular? There's something going on with my friend. I can't really get in touch. It's stressing me out. She's been flaking on me a lot. Uh, I can't stand that. That's out of Australia. What am I doing? I can't. I can't stand that. <laughs> oh God, same. But I know she's got a lot going on. It's fine, mostly. So what about you? Um, wait, you've got one of one of those things on your arm. No way. The feel grid. Wow. Yeah, actually, Savy gave it to me. Huh, interesting. How do you feel about it? Honestly, it's kind of weird. I know, right? 
I find it so bizarre, just as a concept. Putting your emotions on display. Doesn't it make you uncomfortable? It makes me more vulnerable. That whole wearing your heart in your sleeve thing. I do feel a little exposed, but there's something about it. Yeah, it's... yeah. I need to... I need to stop. Stop what? Being all thinky, dissect dissecting stuff. No, I like thinky. It's the worst. I've been trying to stay out of the heavier side of LOL, but... Lena... Not to bring the room down. Or the car, I guess, but... Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you know anything about Sophie Lemieux, the late Sophie Lemieux? Uh, I knew a few things, yeah. That she was a ballerina, that she was hit by a car, and that Copra's trying to pass a law with her name on it. Well, after I left you the other night, I went out to take some pictures and stumbled into this massive crowd of people. It was a vigil from Sophie. Big deal, lots of mourners. Some people had signs about cars, about Capra, or whatever. It was this portrait of her, full ballet pose, arabesque, surrounded by flowers, people trying, chanting about change. That sounds... heartbreaking. It was. I felt like I knew her, just hearing people speak about her, seeing how, do how adored she was. But the other thing was... The whole scene was bathed in this blue glow, and it was coming off people's wrists. Feel grits. Are they really that popular here? <laughs> We're gonna roleplay. Like, I liked that every thought goes back to Sadie. Didn't notice that your apple had run out? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, well, that's because I don't stream a lot. <laughs> an open book emotionally and a mystery in every other way well at the vigil few grids were everywhere I got some interesting shots but it was so strange taking a photo with only one possible interpretation it's just here are some sad people you know they are sad because they are blue it's weird you know yeah But it's not that simple. There are different kinds of sad. We can't read the feeling exactly. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. Either way, it was really striking. Mostly blues. Some reds here and there. Green and yellows too. What do those mean? Calm, relaxed. haven't been there in a while. Oh, in the feelings region. Calm, relaxed, positive, chill, happy. But see, see, that's the problem, right? If I show up at a funeral and my fugret says I'm stoked. <laughs> Maybe you're the murderer. <laughs> exactly. I keep picturing the Mona Lisa. 500 years of that unreadable smile until you slap a feel grid on it. I'm a bit scrambled up about the whole a bit scrambled up about the whole thing. So you're not in the market for one then. At least the look is interesting, and I almost got a free one. <laughs> Who's handing out free feel grids? Yeah, good question. So so I'm at the vigil, yeah? Everything's blue, it's dreamlike mournful, but then I look across the street and there's this whole gang, right? Not a few grid in the pack. It's a dark zone. I go over and they're I'm there to check them out. Crack Patic is now following! Well thanks a bunch, Crack Patic, Patic, Papatic. <laughs> Welcome! Thanks for following, Craig. Um I go over there to check them out, and they say they're this group called Radix. 
the word hit me like a gut punch. Maybe I could get some intel if I played this right. Oh yeah? Who's Radix? They're anti-car activists? Cool people, mostly. Except one of them who got pretty heated when I said they must like Sophie's Law. Rookie mistake. They hate cars. They copra even more. Even more than you, maybe. Impossible. So, what were they doing at the vigil? Well, they were actually trying to recruit. At Sophie Lemieux's vigil? Clever. Yeah. They were saying the law is a cheap half measure. Gives Capra more power, doesn't save any lives. Anyway, I showed them the, the photos I took of the blue globe. And they said none of those people had fuel grids when they showed up. Apparently, two hours earlier, some Capra reps showed up and started handing them out free of charge. Hold on, is that really true? Reddick swore up and down that's how it happened. Huh. Yeah, I guess my question is why? Because it puts on a show. Free advertising. And then I take pictures of it and share it with the world. Makes me feel a little... Duped? Exactly. Yep, that tends to be Capra's thing. I know. I'm more than familiar. That's something I maybe should have told you the other day, when I got weird. When you got weird. <laughs> yeah, I got quiet and sort of standoffish. That wasn't fair. Oh wow, no, that was on me. Well, at least let me make one little excuse. I worked for a big copper adjacent company when I was still in the UK. I got the job really young, working in an immersive tech and AI. Loved it. Hey, let me be creative and I've I keep slipping into Australian. What the hell? I can't even do that consistently. Why does it happen now? Let me be creative <laughs> And I felt like I was changing things So we got big we got big because we were good, uh, but then you lose yourself don't you? How do you mean? more and more I was balancing creativity my actual work with corporate ethics And you're sure this wasn't in Los Ojos? Ah, uh, kind of a global story, I guess. We just kept working with the worst people, saying yes to more funding regardless of where it came from. To make myself feel better, I joined all these initiatives for change, for diversity, helping the right kinds of communities and people. I took so much on, and so did lots of us, but it was just... impossible. What's the phrase? Uh, money talks. Definitely talked louder than we did. So you left the job? I did, for at least a year. They were pretty clear that liked me back at the end. Uh, they were pretty clear that liked me back at the end. Where will you go? I don't know. I guess maybe this trip, I guess maybe this trip is a test to just see if I can turn my brain off. Be a tourist. Not an activist, just watch all the Capra stuff happen and let it float by. Just let everything float by. No agonizing over morals, no fighting, no, just observing. I didn't need to get gloomy. Well, where do you feel you're at? I do my best to remain impartial and everything turns out to be a lot well, doing my best to, to remain impartial and everything turns out to be a lot of work. I mean, just look at me. I'm, I'm lost right now. I took a really good picture of an important LO moment of people experiencing something profound. It might be one of my best, but I can't decide. I used to do nothing but decide. And now, I can't even say if a photo I took is real. I knew the feeling. Was anything real in Los Ojos? Eh. 
might be slightly staged. I mean, the mourners are real, but the moment might be amplified. But the moment might be amplified. Boo field grids are just a form of emotional shorthand. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Hey. Uh. Listen. Obviously, don't take your eyes off the road, but do you think I could send you the picture? You can tell me what you think. I want to share it. I, I think it's important, but I'd sort of love your thoughts. Be my moral compass? Yeah, send away. Thanks. And sorry if I'm being a downer. People come, from, come to LO for the lights and sights, you know. And I end up getting right back into the muck. I'm in the same boat. I expected a lot more hanging out in nightclubs and a lot less everything else. I pulled up to Liam's hotel again. Wait, did we just go for a joyride? Oh no, he were he was something else. Huh? It was hard not to feel a pang of jealousy. Having a decent place to sleep felt like it was part of another timeline for me. And here we are. Cool. Thanks for listening to me rant, Lena and for looking at the photo for me. Anytime, friend. <laughs> See you in texts. <laughs> he was already scrolling through his camera as he walked in. Did the fate of the de facto Capra ad campaign lay in my hands, mixed with the fate of a photo that could sway the Sophie's Law vote? Liam, buddy, you can't tell if you came to the exact right person or the exact wrong one. The exact right person for the exact one. All right, let's look at the picture. <laughs> Yay! Thank you for the raid, Ledinho, also known as Marcos. Hey, you! <laughs> Hi, Hartex. Okay. Oh, there are other places to sleep at. What's this? Motel Azteca. Need a top up. Mm. Well. Louisa's home. This is a person we can talk to. It's a bit more expensive. No, wait, I can't afford that, actually. Duh. Okay, so let's let's get some gas, and uh, then we'll see. I always wanted to raid you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, now you got a chance. Thank you so much. I feel honored. Did you guys just finish playing Beat Saber? Am I doing 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 pretty pretty well? Pretty pretty fine. Reading a lot tonight. Been streaming for three hours now. I don't want to go to the copper capsule. Ah. My little corner of Los Ojos, I can offer you privacy, comfort, green tea, no judgment, no world class bed. My brother's a mattress designer. That's cool. Wish I could go, but it's a bit too expensive. Wait, you streamed for six hours? Damn. I wasn't sh I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> I wasn't sure how much sleep I'd be able to get with everything going on, but when my head hit the pillow in the Azteca, Azteca, I went somewhere else. I was back in Cactus Flats, in a room where I used to live, floating above all the all these things I'd owned, all these beautiful little things. Rows and rows of little things, pine cones and seashells. I remembered where I'd gotten each one of them, and the joy I felt was so warm, like light inside my whole body. 
I was so happy to be home. I kept floating. And then I wasn't in my nice room anymore. And there wasn't anything in the room, and I couldn't breathe. I went for the door and it didn't open. I screamed and screamed and screamed until all the air was gone and I knew I was dying. Then I woke up. The as advertised 24-7 breakfast was okay, but there were pine cones placed around the trays for decoration. I knew it had to have been a coincidence, of, of course it was. The effort to ignore the thoughts that maybe it wasn't just a coincidence, that maybe the hotel was some kind of portal between the dream world and the real world, but then that would mean all I could summon were pine cones. It all just kind of killed my appetite. You guys missed my wig! You're gonna have to watch the video on demand later. I looked pretty good earlier. Now I look fine. <laughs> I also suggested a track down Savy's boyfriends. Uh, a track down Savy's boyfriends. A DJ named Jace and a techie hot named Charlie. Wait, I thought the DJ was. Well, there were two DJs, right? Do we know the name of the second DJ? It was a long shot, but maybe one or both of them took Neocab? Uh, I opened the Neocab app. Ca Neocab app. Neocab a cab app. Ugh. Like it was <laughs> like it was going to give me some answers. Nope. At least now I knew a few friendly faces in this city. Hopefully one of them needed a ride as badly as I needed some leads. Was perfect? What was perfect? Alright, let's find some peoples. Stanzmaschine! It's Una! Una, na! Let's go. Let's pick up Una. Ah, yes! <laughs> also known as Cruella de Vidal. Una slid into the back seat. Oh my god, she's always perf- Oh, you charmer! You charmer, you! <laughs> Hello again! Any progress on, uh... Rolling that hot 13? We really need to get you into a casino. But yes, I've made some progress. I'm now gathering more of an information. Which is why you're heading to... Is this right? City Hall? Yes! They're announcing where the new municipal spaceport is going to be built. At midnight, very dramatic. Uh, what do you want to learn? So, there are three neighborhoods being considered, or maybe I should say, threatened. The world is about to change for one of them. Uncertainty of that magnitude has a very, has a very strong feeling. Yeah, it's called dread. Not quite. Dread and hope both anticipate an outcome and taint the pure uncertainty. It's difficult to find large groups of people generating this kind of energy. <laughs> I'm, I'm Prince Charming, bro. <laughs> Definitely with that line. <laughs> The nurses shoo me away when I hang around the, the hospital. Large-scale sporting events are an option, of course. But I've learned the hard way to regard my own comfort as an essential variable. I wondered if my worry about Savy was feeding her. It felt gross, that she was a vulture for those moments in life when you feel small and helpless. I know what you're thinking. I didn't say anything. You're wondering if you should take Oubliette or Isidore Street. Now, nah, you'll take both. Highly doubtful. Oh? Well, the timeline will branch in. Wait for it. Una waited. My body tensed up. I held my breath. And totally missed the turn into onto Isidore, Isidore Street. There! Did you feel it? A small pothole? Yes, because that was a small pothole. 
That was no pothole. But I understand if it's more comforting to believe that instead of the truth. One version of this cab went down Isidore Street, another down Oubliette. I'm glad to be us, but I bear the other versions of Una and Lena no ill will. Mm. Oh, don't look at me like that. It's just that you're kind of strange. No offense. <laughs> None taken. I am strange. Better than the alternative, as I like to say. The question is, why aren't you a stranger? A stranger? Una, aren't we pals by now? Oh, I do enjoy you, that's true. I'm sorry, I can't help myself. Quantum statisticians can be annoying this way. <laughs> uh, so, I have a question. I know you're into randomness and entropy, but... What do you actually do? <laughs> That's a fair question. Fixing reality is strictly a hobby. I'm a little embarrassed to say it, but mostly I get paid to recover passphrases. That's it? Oh, it's not easy. Well, it's a little bit easy for me, at least. I just thought we'd do more once we'd cracked multiple dimensions, like... <laughs> World peace? Yes, we've looked into that, and trust me, no one wants to live in that waking nightmare. Dreadful, just awful. Yeah, I think I want your job. <laughs> I'm not surprised to hear you say that. You live closer than most to the quantum realm. <laughs> How so? Well, you choose your passengers, don't you? I do. Each choice is a branch. That other version of you with that other passenger? She exists. I'm not sure if you're up on your Tate Carney theory, but it's been proven. I mean, does it even matter? That's exactly the right question, my dear. Most people don't ask the right question. You could be quite good at this. She didn't have to sound quite so surprised. Oh no, that made me angry! I didn't want to be- <laughs> Damn, you, you two are out charming each other right now. Towards me and towards each other. How wholesome. I could teach you. If you had access to a uh, five- 112 cubit quantum compiler. Ah, yes. Who doesn't own one of those? And assuming you knew your foundational statistics, of course. And had 20 hours a week for problem sets. So I'm not going to learn how to be a witch, is what I'm hearing. Ha! Perhaps not quite yet. <laughs> Anyway, it's all more complicated these days. When I started, the compilers only had 32 qubits, if you can believe it. Ha <laughs> ha This is the panicked laugh of somebody who is completely out of their depth with what their conversational partner is talking about. Ha <laughs> yes! The qubits! <laughs> and z-bits and all the bits. Um, I shrugged. You didn't nod. You could have nodded. The way the world branches in the subtlest ways. It's interesting, isn't it? I was starting to feel weird. Paralyzed. Every choice. Not just every choice, every action. Not just every action, every thought. Was I being controlled by an outside entity? What is a decision, even? I stumbled on the path of least resistance? Maybe. But it was still me doing the stumbling. 
my head felt like it was going to explode. I was dealing with way too much other, other uncertainty in my reality to process this. It must be exhausting to be Una. Una tapped the back of my seat. Hello? Oh, sorry, zoned out for a second there. I was saying, get ready for it. For what? Una looked out the window. There's the other versions of us, the Una and Lena that took Isidore Street. They'll merge with us in a moment. Wait for it. Wait? I wonder what kind of conversation they had. Maybe they're halfway to Vegas by now. <laughs> that is a very different timeline, my dear. Not a bad one, though. Una shuddered. It was like a wave passed through her. There! That was it. I didn't know what I felt. Either way, we were at City Hall. The timelines have merged again. It always makes me feel better. Like I have a little more of, uh, like I have a little more of myself. <laughs> I'll need it all to handle this announcement. <laughs> There's going to be yelling. Wait. Do you really feel like this? Do you really feel this way all the time? I do. It was upsetting at first. Running problem sets on a quantum computer, understanding they were all happening at once. And so, by extension, was everything else. But the math checks out. These are simply the cards we've been dealt. So you've made your peace with it? I've come to find it utterly liberating. <laughs> there are no wrong answers, because they are all inevitable anyway. That other version of me... That other you, all those other rides, maybe we'll meet up at the end, all of us. Probably not, but that's okay. I wished I had her perspective. A life without regrets sounded much more peaceful. Oh, I need to get in there. A neighborhood is about to be ruined. She slid out of the car and dashed towards City Hall, slipping between knots of pro pro protest protesters. protesters gathered outside. They were all fired up, chanting and waving signs in the middle of the night. It made sense. They were fighting for their homes. I wondered what would happen if Una told them they would fail and also succeed. Would everyone just give up and leave? Una perched on the stage near the podium, draped a blanket over her legs, and closed her eyes. I wish us all luck. Beep boop beep! Next ride! I'm thrilled this particular Lena slipped into my timeline tonight. Ha <laughs> I'm a princess, says Hortex. I'm the princess! <laughs> or does that make me the queen? I'm fine with that as well. <laughs> no! It's Sam! I want to know what happened to him, but I also kind of want to meet new people, which is important. It is important. Can't pick him up because I need five stars. She. She likes famous people, so maybe she hears a lot of stuff that goes on. Yeah, he's nice and cuddly. What is this? I want to be the princess. Okay, then you can be the princess since you're acting like a little brat anyway. <laughs> you're the princess. You're the princess charming and then I'm, I'll am i be the queen charming, okay? <laughs> this is a stream. I would thank you to, to mind your manners. Anyway, we're picking up another princess.
I pulled up to the to a gleaming apartment tower that was halfway between a condo and an arcology. What is an what's an ecology? I bet it smelled fantastic in there, like new cars and sunshine. Wardrobe crisis! Please wait a minute. Uh, thanks. I hoped you wouldn't take lot too long. I should have been with Savy by now. Drinking to my new life in Los Ojos. Maybe with a nice sour cider. I want a cider. Should I give him a timeout for swearing? <laughs> no. <laughs> Please no mod wars. <laughs> now I didn't even know if she was dead or alive. Where was she? What was she thinking right now? I need a new voice. Uh... I'm sorry. Thank you so much for waiting. Hey, whoa! Ooh. You look like Amidala. I dig everybody's hair, except maybe Sam. Sam's just looked like straight up normal hair. She looks like like a Greek, a Greek goddess. Was this the standard look at Lo? It must have taken her hours. I really don't know what voice to go with, huh? Peeps, I'm out uh, for tomorrow. Enjoy the stream and have a good start in the week. Okay, you too, Alex. Bye. Thanks for checking in. So this is a new cap car. Uh, what voice does she have? So this is a new cap car, huh? Going somewhere special tonight? Yeah, uh, I needed to ask you a weird question. I mean, it's like medium weird, if that's okay. Sure, go for it. Okay, be honest. Do you like what I'm wearing? Is that crazy to ask? I'm sorry. I just don't trust my mirror anymore, you know? You just program them to say what you want to hear. Give me like first impressions. Yeah, it's too much, isn't it? No, it's, that's not too much. How is that too much? I mean, I think it looks amazing, but maybe I should ask about the occasion. What's the occasion? Off to the exit. Wait, what? Wait, what? What is that even? Well, out to the executioner. Yikes. No, no, sorry. It's a first date. And I thought I, I hated the whole mating dance thing. Sorry. I, I did a pregame shot. Guess that was a bad idea. Well, they're just one person, right? Yeah, okay. I don't need a man to be happy. I have to love myself first. Oh, and it happens right when you stop looking. No, I didn't mean... It's fine. I know people mean well. It's just... I know it sounds weird, but we're already together. We just haven't met in person. We started vid-chatting one day, just for fun in one of those sites, you know? Yeah, I've been there. Three months later, we talk every day, and it feels like we just fit. Like, when something happens, he's the first person I want to tell. I I actually look forward to staying in on Friday right now. Not uh, Friday night now. So he flew here to see me in person, which means time for his first impression of me. Sounds like he's really into you. I guess, for now. It's just a little complicated. When we started video chatting, I had my filter on because, you know, why not? I use it for everything anyway. But then I just never turned it off. So he's really seen me. He's never really seen me. You know. I spent hours programming my Animesh to watch. To match the filter. Fil ugh. I spent hours programming my Animesh to watch the filter. I don't know what you're telling me, but yeah. Barely got any work done, but it looks good, right? It's beautiful. Thanks. I spent a lot of time on it, tested a bunch of versions. <laughs> you 
guys need to stop. You guys need to stop fighting. You're supposed to be Prince and King Charming, okay? So behave accordingly. I feel like I could write a book on how to design your ideal drawing. What program are you using on your animish? It looks super custom. Uh, what's an animish? Shut up! <clears throat> You're not wearing nano foundation? Um, programmable particles that can take on any pigment? Develop a marine biologist to study cuttlefish? Basically adaptive camouflage for humans? Wait, don't cuttlefish do that to avoid getting eaten? Or to avoid being seen by what they want to eat? Oh wait, you're prince and princess charming. Well, that's more appropriate. Stop fighting children. Also stop distracting me. Yeah. <laughs> You can pick if you're prince or king, player's choice. I think both positions are open right now. Um, yeah, I get it. The symbolism is totally messed up. The... Mind your own... Okay, all right. All right, fine. All right. You do you then. I'm not gonna read chat anymore if it's you two. <laughs> uh, ugh, I think of the cheesiest lines sometimes. No, but that's a cute joke. I wanna say the pun. Let me say the pun. I don't wanna, I don't wanna look police her, like, sure, she didn't, she shouldn't feel like she needs to wear makeup, but if she wants to wear makeup, like, who am I to... whatever. Maybe you don't need it though. Yeah, okay. No, seriously, I see a lot of people. Trust me, you're good. I've just been on enough dates to know that look people get... Uh, I've just been on enough dates to know that look people get when you go in person and they're disappointed, you know? Their f face kind of falls and their eyes go a little flat. That sounds awful. I just don't want that with Dre. I really like him. Like, maybe it's for real this time. This is where you tell me to like, just be myself, right? No, I hate how people say that like it's some brilliant solution. Who doesn't want to be someone else every now and then, you know? Exactly. So, why meet up now? Oh, uh, well... He's actually moving here? Lucky break with his job? Um, can you turn on the cab light? Sure thing. She rummaged in her purse and pulled out a packet of wet wipes. <gasps> I never meant to have a screen boyfriend, you know? She tucked her precision curls behind her ears. Wait, are you... I'm the on-call sys admin for three different companies and they ping me 24-7. I just started looking at profiles for fun. Sure enough, she started wiping the animesh from her face. The digital Fiona? I hid a smile as I watched the digital Fi Oh, Fiona is her name, right. I hid a smile as I watched the digital Fiona melt away. Ooh, she's cute! A lot of the guys are creeps, or bots. She's really cute, you guys. And again, I love her hair. Um, but Dre is always traveling for work. Otherwise, he'd, be, he'd have been snapped up a long time ago. He's a total 10. I'm like a natural 6, and enhanced 8. Stop! She rummaged deeper into her purse. <laughs> that old rating thing is just a trap, don't you think? Like, who came up with the num who came up with the numbers? Some drunk frat boy 50 years ago? Yeah, that's pretty probably pretty accurate. 
They thought toilet paper was a they thought toilet paper was a good idea. So fuck their judgment, right? Well when you put it like that. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> I keep keep thinking like people are actually talking about the game in chat and it's just you two being being boobies. Um <laughs> Oh god. No, oh god. You're going to be okay. No, no, it's it's not that. My, my glow shadow is in my other purse. Oh, shit, shit. I didn't want to go into this bare face. I just wanted a fresh start for a few swipes of color. I remembered the little makeup bag I'd thrown in my purse before I set out for a low. It felt like something sometime last year. I might have a glow shadow in my purse. Really? My queen! <laughs> I took an eye off the road to grab it and hand it back to her. Whoa, watch out! I got it. It's the cutest color and a little goes a long way. You're gonna love it. Do you like it? That's the question. Well, do you? Well, it's technically still kind of a filter. I guess that's true. She chewed her lip and checked her reflection in the rear view again. You keep the glow shadow, okay? Oh my god, really? Thank you. Thank you! I feel like this is a good omen, you know? People should fall in love with their eyes closed. You know who said that? Lena knows what's up. Oscar Wilde is always a safe bet. Close! Andy Warhol. Nice. Oh! There's the bar. Well, give my best to Dre. And have fun. Uh, fun. Is that what this is all for? Fiona flashed a devilish smile at me as she walked away. The first real one of the night. I saw she had a little gap in her front teeth. Cute. Thanks for... Thanks for listening. I appreciate her trying to cheer me up. My queen saved my life tonight. Ah, Fiona's cute. Grasti, hello, Sportler. Welcome. You have stumbled into an intense discussion between my mods about how to best distract me. So, welcome. Also, we're playing NeoCap, which is a lovely narrative game and much more interesting than that. <laughs> New message from Liam. Hey, Lena. Thanks again for the ride. Uh, great talking to you. Here's the picture I took at the Sophie Limeur. Uh, I mean, it's a good picture. What do you what do you guys think? Should he post it or should he not post it? It's a good picture, but it's definitely free advertising. And it leaves nothing up to uh, interpretation. Which is kind of the point of Expressive photography. Okay, we got one yes, one no. Hey, Sofa! 
Thanks for the raid! And welcome! You can weigh in on this, even though you have no idea what's going on. Um, should we post this picture, which is a nice capture of an emotional moment, but also uh, unpaid and unannounced sponsorship for the company who made those mood bracelets, and also doesn't leave it up to interpretation whether people in the picture are sad, angry, or something else. I'm... I don't... <clears throat> hmm. I think he will feel bad about it in the long run. So I'm going with no. Hold off for now. It doesn't feel quite right. Blah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's a great picture, but the whole handing out field grids makes it feel like a setup. Influencer Bay! Oh my god, that's totally what it is. Have a great night. You too. It was well after midnight and I met my ride quota. I checked my field grid, deep yellow green. Cool, I feel good. I can take another ride. I had an enemy to push on for one more ride tonight. If I could call it, eh? I saw as I push on. So I have what? I have five stars again. So I could pick up one of those guys who really want to be safe about who they ride with now. Or I could go for this guy again who will give me three stars again. What does he do again? Wouldn't you like to know? All right, Charlie Elliot, that's fine. Oh wait, is this maybe this? <gasps> is this Charlie? Is this the Charlie? Sie sehen zauberhaft aus, ja danke. Vielen, vielen Dank. <lacht> Vorhin war es noch besser, da hatte ich eine passende Perücke an, aber die hat mir leider ein bisschen am Kopf wehgetan. I'd learn not to bother with the golden prime packs back in the flats. With a golden prime pack back in the flats. A small boost in fare wasn't worth a huge dose of entitlement that typically came with them. But if this guy was involved with Savvy... There probably wasn't anything typical about him. Plus, I needed information. Desperately. You for Charlie? Oh wait, that was him. Yeah, that's right. How's your night been? Oh, you know, make you forget bad memories. And all you get are new ones. <laughs> Should I put that on a throw pillow for your back seat? His face was shiny with sweat, and he smelled like if you poured a bottle of whiskey into a gym bag. The dead giveaway. He'd been clubbing, just like on the night Savy disappeared. My palms went clammy on the steering wheel. Palms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. There was a chance this guy knew where she was right now. I needed to play it cool. No worries. Just so long as you had a good night. Yeah, I needed to blow off some steam. Having a rough time lately? What are you, some kind of driver priestess? You have the face for it. I bet people spill their guts for you. I know it's so blatantly animal to go to the place with the hottest guys and the loudest bass when the thoughts get bad. But fuck, it just almost works, you know? Yes, in fact, I did know. More so the loud bass part and pulling Savy off the hottest more so the loud bass part and pulling Savy off the hottest guys. Wait, wasn't this guy supposed to be one of her boyfriends? Uh, your feel grid is showing. <laughs> Do you like that thing? We got them for free at work. Another cop rock cares wellness program. Not that I'd ever wear it. <clears throat> Why would I want anyone knowing how I really feel all the time? Yeah, Charlie, I agree. It's pretty cool. My friend gave it to me. She thought it, it would help me be more assertive. And does it? Hmm. 
guess it didn't. At least not right now. So, you work at Capra? Why, well, usually just tell drivers I bake pizzas. Oops, wardrobe malfunction. I'm an engineer. Actually, more of a manager now. <clears throat> and before you say anything, yes, I take new cabs because I don't want my job knowing what I get up to. Bye bye, have a wonderful evening. You too, so far. Sleep well. I know that does not mean copras are part of the surveillance state. At least not any more than that, like like that stoplight or every billboard you pass. Of course, the more I find out about whatever was going on, the more copra kept coming up. She'd said she was a, he was a client, but why would Sadie be involved with a cafe shell? Savy and I used to throw paint bombs at billboards in high school. <laughs> what? Yeah, Savy threw one at a stoplight before we realized that would probably basically guarantee car crashes. So then we made paint thinner bombs, like a ton of them. <laughs> Our aim was really bad when it was for cleaning. Um, are you still friends with Savy or whatever her name is? Yeah, definitely. first one sounds creepy. Oh, wait, I think she mentioned having a friend at Capra named Charlie. What? Do I know you? No, no, but, but I heard she was hanging out with you right before she disappeared. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. Just tell me, do you know where Savy is? Oh my god, fucking Savy, this is a nightmare. Are you a cop or something? I'm not saying anything. Great. I'd scared him silent. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm just really worried about her. savia has been my best friend since we were teenagers. I watched him for any sign of recognition. Hadn't you told your latest guy about me? Lena? From Cactus Flats? Oh yeah, okay. I remember now. Lena? She made me help clear out her extra room for you. My girl lives like a garbage rat. My mind raced with questions. He sighed and a cloud of whiskey musk filled that car. Mm. Maybe you could tell me where to find her. Where is she? I don't know. And I don't want to know. Did you get in a fight? What is this, middle school? That girl fucking loved me. We are just out dancing like we always did. I could feel him holding something back. But I could almost see the anger coming off in like waves. If I could just find out when he'd seen her last. Well, when did you last see her? Look. I'm not in the mood to go into it, period. Perfect, I pushed him too far. If he had a field grid, I'd know how my words were landing, but like this, I'd have to fly blind. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to be so intense. Yeah, it makes friends it makes sense to friends with her. Everything it told me swirled in my head. I felt my stomach drop. See me, what have you done? We're almost to Charlie's drop off. There was so much more I wanted to ask him. Um, can I call you or meet up again? Are you fucking serious right now? Had to ask. We're done talking. And if you ever try to contact me again, he let the threat linger as I pulled up to his building. Straight to the cops. I don't think I did anything illegal, my dude. Like... Hey, That hurt. 
hurts. Try smiling. What a fucking douche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, Stone Charlie. Ah. <sighs> Damn it. Where even am I? Oh, I'm close to that. Well, I guess it's copper again. That is way too expensive, but I can't get there. Dang it! Alright, I guess I'm gonna go buy a bar. Like, honestly, I'm not emotional enough about this issue. Shouldn't push too hard, I guess. Yeah, well, you know, with some of the things that ended up being too hard, I really didn't think that was the push hard option. So maybe I just misread that stuff. But yeah, I also kind of think I misread his mood a little bit. Honestly, I... <clears throat> yeah. I did, I would think that it's more intrusive to ask about like, okay, what exactly happened between you two? Than to be like, where do you think she is? But of course, I guess that depends on the context. I hated giving my money to Carpa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good evening, Lena. My fourth night in Los Ojos. Is this my life now? Making just enough coin to scrape by, never seeing the sun on an endless search for my friend? It was starting to feel surreal. Like the moment the camera pans to the dark figure laughing in the doorway and you just know, oh, she is doomed. All right, I think first I need gas. I know, I know I'm bad, okay? I, I did my best. No, I'm not gonna go for it. I don't want to deal with the cops. Um, uh, so he's another arrogant a-hole. This one's gonna. This is always expensive. One thirty-eight. Are they always the same price? Whoa! Shit! I can get here, so I'll go here. Fifteen bucks left. All oh, right, because I had to sleep somewhere. <sighs> let's let's try. I parked around the corner before approaching Azul again. Thought they'd appreciate it. Hey, new cab. Hey, Azul. You don't mind if I bug you again, do you? Would it matter if I said yes? Um, no. And let's do this. Azul was as hard to read as ever. I knew I was testing their patience, but I had to get answers somewhere. Can you tell me more about Savi? I don't know, can I? Don't be sorry, be better. You'll hear this quote in God of War 2018. Yeah, no, for sure. Kratos is, um, let's say a hard ass. Uh, that's probably the, the less judgy way to put that than other options. But like, don't be sorry, be better. It's like, okay, okay, Dad. How close were you and Savy? Close enough. Not besties like you two are. Supposedly. What do you mean, supposedly? I mean, it's weird you don't know where your bestie is. I'm working on it. Sure, right. 
Look, I'm just curious about you and her. Did you get along well? Yeah, she, she, she gets along with everyone. Savi's weird, like intuitive. She kind of gets, she kind of seems like she just gets people, you know. Social chameleon in a good way, though. Wow, is is that a compliment from Azul? Shut up. That's a weird question. How can anyone be a good social chameleon? I feel like changing your colors to fit in wouldn't be kind, be, wouldn't be your kind of thing. It's not. I hate phonies and posers or whatever. I mean, that's not what that means, though. But with Savi, that kind of shit comes naturally. It just feels genuine with her. It's that thing celebrities have, right? She looks at you, you feel seen. She touches your hand and it feels like you grew up together. Yeah, that sounds like the Savi I know. Yep. What can you tell me about Jace? What's his deal? Jace is like... He's a club kid meets jock meets DJ meets motivational speaker. He wears a lot of digital hats. What? Oh, did, oh, I get it. Like, literally. He wears a DJ helmet with a digital readout. Sounds cool. Yeah, it's something. He's like a big dude. All muscles, tatted up. He's Jace, you know, Jace is a good guy. He's important to the movement or whatever. You don't seem convinced. I'm, he's, I am. He's great. Got it. Do you think he and Savi are like in love? You mentioned there were a couple pe people in the picture with Savi. I mean, it could be an open relationship, but you know, just curious what you think. Yeah, Savi and Jace are a lot alike. They talk, people want to listen. They smile, people want to smile back. Feels a hell of a lot more real with Savi though. I vibe, I, I vibe, I vibe with her. Is it fake with Jace? Not fake, he's just a lot. What's that word people always use for serial killers? Charismatic. Um, but he's not axe murdering anyone, so there you go. Whatever, forget it. What else did you want to know? Do you even like this guy? I don't like most people. But you like me? Uh -huh. Is that what you think? Eh, uh, you do. Yeah, I don't hate you, Neocab. Could you show me a picture of him? Nope. Come on, you must have one. Oh, I have several, but that's not what you asked. Okay, new cap, that's enough to chat. I'm on the clock. Come back tomorrow if you want to waste more of my time. Don't tempt me. We really need to make money. Really need to make money. Ooh. This is all so far. I need to stop sleeping in that lower part of town. When I arrived, Klaus was waiting with someone on the pavement. I'm gonna give him a German accent. I need a new voice. He gave me a blank nod and extinguished his cigarette on a street light. So affected. Oh, I put myself in a bad mood. Good evening. Hello. Ah! They're supposed to be German. I figured with Klaus, but you never know. Were those German accents? I used to keep track of how many different accents I'd heard in a night. I haven't heard German in ages. Hey there, how are you two? They put their hands on their knees. They weren't talking. Were they waiting for me to say something? 
Germany, huh? You know what your national bird is, right? The golden eagle. Just like us. But our eagle is bald. I bet our eagle is jealous of yours. You are a robot, yes? <laughs> no. You must tell us if you are a machine. That is the law. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, we understand that the American taxi companies are putting in, um, you know, what is the word? Robot drivers? Yes, robot drivers, but in self-driving taxis. They still do not drive the car. Oh no, it is for appearances. They need different voices, guys. Uh, and I don't want to do the because that's not how we talk. Uh, having a robot in the car is more comfortable for the customer, you know. More friendly, it has personality. Yes, and more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> Self-driving cars are much more efficient, but you cannot carry out a conversation with the car. Well, you could with the car's computer, but uh, it would be a disembodied voice. No good. Sterile and unfriendly. Yes, so we hear that uh, the companies are putting robots in the taxis. A pilot program. Do we understand correctly? Kind of a cool idea, I guess. So, uh, my friend and I are having this discussion. I think you are one of these robots. <laughs> Do I act like a robot to you? Oh, very much so. You recognized that Klaus's accent was German, so you told us that you know about what you know about Germany. You initiated a helpful and informative <laughs> Again. You initiated a helpful and informative conversation based on available data. You administered demonstrated basic pattern recognition yeah or basic politeness well I'm not a robot hmm 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 I'm I, I don't know what kind of robots you guys hang out with but I'm clearly a human being you claim to be human Then you will not object to proving it. The Higgs Gary? Yes, the Higgs Gary. It is a verbal test. Simply a few questions. Revealing questions. Could I, couldn't I just bleed on you? Couldn't I just bleed on you? That is no test. No blood can be synthesized. Humanity cannot. Really, the Higgs Gary is the most appropriate test. The Higgs Gary tests humanity, not knowledge. A robot intelligence can recite all of human knowledge. Man, these two talk like robots themselves. I guess that's just supposed to be German. But that does not mean it is human. A human is messy, emotional, complicated, beautiful. A robot is optimized and efficient. It is what a human can never be. No. Let us begin. This felt like a test from the universe to keep my cool. One that would I probably fail. Uh, wait a sec. Your aunt makes a racist comment at your birthday party. Is that a question? It wasn't a question! Formally, that wasn't a question, Klaus. I am so disappointed. Just answer the question, please. Your aunt makes a racist comment at your birthday party. How racist! Oh, you know, a two out of ten. 
I'd be mortified. You meet your favorite artist. You tell him his earlier work is much better than what he produces now. Why did you do that? Let's be edgy. <laughs> My favorite artist wouldn't be a man. That doesn't affect the test. Yes, it does. It does affect the test, because I was able to think around the corner. These two are definitely robots. Please answer the question. I mean, I guess I wanted to hurt his feelings. <laughs> They're just making me angry. <laughs> A homeless man picks your pocket. Uh, I'd ask for whatever he took back. I don't think that's how it works with pickpocketing. Um... I would call the police. You have a young son. He asks you to, to see your breast. Jesus, guys. Just answer the question, please. You have a young son. This is so... This is... Oh, no. Man, I was excited to see some Germans in this game. They're always weird in this. I would politely but firmly explain the concept of boundaries. Your pet pig eats your friend's best dress. She wants to watch you discipline it. How long have I had this pig? It doesn't affect the test. Please answer the question. Your pet pig eats your... Ugh. Whatever. She can back off. It's my pig. <laughs> After intercourse, your husband tells you he would kill a man to protect you. He tells you that he has already killed a dog. He tells you that he killed the dog three hours ago. He tells you that you knew this dog. Was it Higgs or Gary who was obsessed with sex? It doesn't affect the test, but it was Higgs. <laughs> yes, it was Higgs. My husband clearly needs help. <laughs> We'd work on his problems to- Oh no, I mean, that's not what I meant to say by that. I'm trying to like, kind of just joke my way through this, honestly. Like, what the hell is this test? Your best friend has an affair with your son. They ask you to pay for the abortion. Is this the same son who wanted to grab my boob? It doesn't affect the test. Please just answer the question. Your best friend has an affair with your son. They ask you to pay for the abortion. I like how that point leads directly into the... Well... I don't know if I'd agree to that, but I try to help them in some way. Your father sends your worms in the mail. How many questions are there? Sends your worms in the mail. One of the worms still has things to life. I'd call dad and ask if he was okay. Well, that is the end of the test. And perfect timing too. We'd arrived at a club in Liberty Heights, The Haunt. It was hard to say whether the decor was ghost themed or just black. How'd I do? Is that important? We really do have to go. Yes, it's important. But well, what do you think? To be honest, I am finding it quite hard to be certain. 
Yes, me as well. Where had I gone wrong in my life that people weren't even sure whether I was human? Why is this upsetting you? Like, <laughs> just, why do you care? They're weird, so what? Human, I'm human. Either she is an incredible robot or a below average human, yes. But it is impossible to be sure. All right, you have had your fun, okay? Would you still bleed on us as you offered? No, the moment has passed. We should err on the side of her being a robot. Yeah, agreed. Your test is absurd. There were definitely moments that made me wish I were a robot. Not someone desperately trying to not lose in front of her packs. Uh, do we have pay have to pay the fare even though we've determined that you are a robot? Oh, is that what this whole thing was breaking up towards? Yes. She doesn't deny being a robot. Yes, I noticed that as well. There was a line for the haunt stretching, stretching right around the block. Klaus and Marek disappeared to join it. I'll never get what makes people wait in lines that long for a drink. But what do I know? I'm just a robot. I probably talk back too much. Oh! Perfect driver. A marvel of modern engineering. Why are Germans always so weird in games and things and other, and other stuff from the US? Like, stop! I was so excited. I was so excited to see German in this game and then it's a weird robot boy and his weird robot boyfriend. <coughs> Lena! <coughs> it's heavy! Is it really you? Oh no, sorry. Because we are weird, says player's choice. Well, we're not weirder than everybody else. Oh my god, I... Bunny, I'm so, so sorry. I've been trying to find a safe way to text. Need your help. Oh my god, it's amazing to talk to you. Where are you? It's really complicated right now. Need help. Well... Tell me what you need help with. Can't say right now. Okay, what do you want? Tell me what you want. Is this really you though, Savy? Trust me, it's me. I, I I had to trash my old phone. Can't risk using the camera, I would send you pics. But seriously, who the fuck else calls you L Bunny? LOL. I just need to make sure. I don't know. Tell me some memory. It's been a weird week. Literally ask me anything. I mean, if somebody kidnapped her, they could ask her all of this, but... <laughs> what was my fattest cat's name? Oh my god, you're so paranoid. Consuela, and she was super mean. Okay, maybe it's you? When we were 17, a gang of stupid rich boys yelled at you from their gross white pedo van. Call you a bitch, slut, dyke, etc. You came to me crying and you wanted to move to or whatever, and I said, fuck, let fuck that, we can teach them a lesson. So your girl tracked them down and found their bullshit man, man cave frat house. Are you convinced yet? Kinda? LOL. We found their van, part parked out back and came fucking locked and loaded. You with your glitter bomb, me with my spray band. The van looked way better with its new paint job. Just fun maggots, lol. We fucked that shit up. For 
lucky they didn't see us. Oh, well, they're lucky you didn't let me slash their tires. I was so ready. But you were there to stop me from going too crazy. Kind of regret it now. They deserved it. <laughs> You're the best. Okay, maybe it's really you. Finally! Okay, soon. Where, where are you? Soon, I promise. I just need one more favor, though. Okay. I know you're trying to help, but please, 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 I need you to be super careful about who you talk to. I've been hearing some whispers about you asking questions about me. Uh, what are you hearing? I know you're trying to help, but please remember, don't talk to anyone who works with Capra about me. They're gonna lie to you. You seriously can't trust anything they say. Of course not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Capra is fucking dangerous. You seriously have no clue how dangerous. And I want you to stay safe. I'm hearing stuff on my side and it's on my side and it's bad. Plus, they'll totally take you down with me if you give them a chance. Just don't go digging any into them anymore, okay? Okay. Thanks, Lena. It means the world. Okay, gotta go. Seriously, so so close to all this being done. Can't wait to see you, my little ill bunny. Love you so much. Talk to you soon. I promise. Be safe! Would have been nice to have a key to the apartment? Just saying. Like. Okay. We've been going for four hours. I don't really feel like quitting yet, but I've been doing a lot of reading. So I feel like maybe playing something else that doesn't involve this much reading, although I definitely want to continue playing this game on stream, because it's a lot more fun to play on stream than by myself. Uh, but I will take a break and think of something else to play. And if you guys want to still watch, that will be fun. And if you don't, I will just play anyway and play with my ring light. And yeah, but I'm sure you you'll stay. <laughs> okay, so let me just see if I can actually save. Uh, do I just quit? Oh, it auto saves and like everything. I guess I'll just rely on that. Yes, yes, I'm quite sure. So, I'll be back in, I don't know, 10 minutes-ish, or let's say 11 the latest, so 15 minutes. And then I will have figured out what we will be playing uh, for the rest of the night. So, see you in a few...